Hello everyone, welcome back to NMB Takoyaki Party, episode 77. Happy New Year. Uh, the year 2022 feels a lot like 2021, <laughs> which also felt a lot like 2020 uh, in terms of how the year's already started and we're already like in a whole bunch of shit. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm joined by Arda. Hello, Happy New Year. How was your New Year, Arda? Yes, spending just live streaming inside my room. <laughs> Nothing special. You're watching live streams or you were actually live streaming yourself? I'm watching some live streaming and, you know, watching drama, anim anime. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm curious, like, how does, like, how does, like, New Year work in Indonesia? Because, like, is it, like, just random, like, just, do you spend with family or is it, like, kind of like a party holiday? Uh, usually we got one additional holiday, but because of COVID, there is no additional holiday. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, one day holidays. I see. And especially since it is fall on Saturday, so just like usual weekend. Ah, so you get robbed. <laughs> yeah. I hate, hate that when it happens. Uh, I was joined by Jeff. Happy New Year, Year of the Tiger, Chihi's Year. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's uh, all I know. It's a shitty year. Of course, already. <laughs> <laughs> First. Jeff, you went on a little adventure during your holidays with Andy of Andy and Takoyaki Party. Yep. Went to Kyushu. Because you guys love HKT now. Yeah, we took the Shinkansen by accident. The one that has the members painted on it. <laughs> admit, so now you're all admit, like uh, Tanaka you, Miku. You, you, research, Tanaka Miku. you research it and you. Made sure to <laughs> get on that uh, Shinkansen. I would for NMB. Management needs to get on that. Hey, hey, they do have a train. It's the, well, it's the rugby, the rugby subway line on Midasuji. Yeah. With uh, and Karen, more people, uh, more people rode uh, that, so it's okay. Yeah. That was the voice of Ryan. Yeah. Fuck twenty twenty two. <laughs> He's already angry. Yeah, so nothing happy about this new year. Still in angry set I I see. Yeah. Angry New Year yeah. is what it is. Yeah, so uh we're already kinda like down, like it's barely been like a week or so. I mean, depending on whenever you hear this, uh since the new year started and we already got some uh graduation news to talk about. Uh, starting with one piece of one uh, graduation announcement that happened while we were like wrapping up the Golden Takaki Award recording, we kind of teased it last time. Uh, but yeah, uh, Yamasaki Amiru announced graduation. Kind of, this one kind of came out no, all out of nowhere. Says she's uh, quitting to go uh, go to college. Well, she no, she's education. already in the university. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like she wanted to focus on, you know, actually graduating. And actually graduating and then like getting like a an actual getting an actual job, job. Yeah. 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 Whatever that is. I, I think I, I think with like you know with, with Amiru and like the next one too, it's all it's you know it's, it's like it, it comes it comes a point in your life, right? Like when you have to ask yourself, like, do I want to do this? And it's unfortunate that you know. <laughs> The answer is yeah. always no. Yeah, but I think it's kind of rather early for Amirun to announce it last year because she still has a singing contest to go. Mm -hmm. And who knows if we, if she ended up as Nona Diamond again this year. Yeah, but... Yeah, maybe... and that's like coming up like in a... I think like what, next week? I think is when that is happening. Yeah, so. the finalist live. Or the contest, the final round is next week. Yeah. And she said, like, if she wins the top however many and then goes to the finalists live again, she wants to stay for that. So she might stay for another month or two. But then going back to what Aruda said, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I mean, she, yeah, she got into Nona Diamonds last year, but it didn't really do anything. It's That's only a thing within 48 fans. I don't know. I think she can't really be like a serious singer 
unless she like graduates and then does serious training. And the thing is, I don't think she's interested in that though. Yeah. I said not anymore. Maybe she was, but like you know, the idol industry basically like beat that out of her. She also yeah. has stopped uh, posting cover video on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Can I check when was the last one she did? Uh, like almost a year. Seven months ago. Oh, seven. Yeah. Yosu Asabi. Yeah, something that was like a weird hobby or whatever she did. And then I kind of got bored of that. And then. Just, do, do you guys even know what she's studying at school right nope. now? Or? Nope. None of us mm-hmm. are Amiru or uh, Amiru fans. I almost said Ami Maru for a second. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think they. I mean, uh, it, it, unless you do like you know weird weird shit detective work, they don't really they don't really talk about it openly. I or mean, they walk upon <laughs> saying like she studies economics or something. Yeah. <laughs> also, you na talk about Korean study. Yeah, that's only one of her classes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. It would be really weird if she was actually studying Korean studies. But, like, this is Japan, so your your major doesn't really matter. Yeah. I used to work with a guy with a degree in agricultural studies. And he was a programmer, so... It doesn't matter. It goes to show you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway, it's kind of unfortunate. She was, like, kind of, like, like, one of the best singers of NMB... Yeah, and then she yeah. had just gotten her first gravure, right? And then yeah, after, yeah. Like, that was announced like I think a, a few days before she actually announced. And yeah, she for a long time she w- wanted really bad to be on a magazine, like she always posts on Instagram with like the, her unique fashion style. So we thought maybe she had some hope for getting into a magazine like that, but she got into a different kind of magazine. <laughs> Yeah, and then, like, with her being, like, the taking over as leader for Mixed Juice after Miru graduated, I mean, I don't know, he, he thought maybe she would, was, like, dedicated to NMB would, and would stick around, but I guess not. Nope. Nope. Okay, so then I guess we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from one graduation to another graduation, uh, this is a uh, Sugiura Kotone. She just announced hers a couple days ago. Uh, this one, just I think, yesterday. <laughs> just yesterday, yeah, yeah I mean, you kind of wanted to hear this, so yeah, it'll be a couple days. Uh, it's, this one, I guess, less shocking, I mean, it's more just the timing. I mean, it's the shocking part, I, but, like, her leaving is not really all that. Yeah, it, it's yeah. not shocking in the sense that, like, you know. Someone else will talk about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's not, it's not that it's shocking, but it was more like. She Unexpected. could have stayed. Or she could have stayed, or she could not have stayed, and it wouldn't have made a difference. Yeah. So she should have stayed. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also kind of unexpected because she recently picked up camera, cameraman yeah. character. Yeah. yeah. The camera yeah. stuff probably like she was trying to like find a niche for herself, but then, you know, like. I mean, humans are complicated, of course, but yeah. it was like, you know, she was trying to find a niche for herself, but then she just had a, I guess, like, you know, realization where, you know what, I'm not really going anywhere and I probably need to, you know, move on. Because, like, similar to Amiru, it was like, you know, she was in college, right? And she's probably about to graduate university. So it's like, you know, uh, should I continue with my dream where, you know, I'm not really going anywhere or I just move on, you know, get on with your life. And yeah, as I she said, she wasn't really doing anything in NMB. Like she was, you know, bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, near bottom of uh, popularity. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, uh, as, as like Miki and like, all those other girls have shown us that like, you know, Staying long has value. Yeah. Like Yuzu. Yeah. Well, Yuzu's kind of different, but <laughs> something like that. 
I, I mean, obviously with, with Goton, like, you know, she wasn't really going to go anywhere. And like, if this was normal, if this was, if this was a normal time, it was just like, oh, this is one graduation out of like, you know, like, for example, this was the only graduation for this year. It would be like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah you know, I mean, you're, you're never good happy job. for graduations, but it's always like, yeah. you know, it was time. Then, you know, good luck to her. It's just like yeah, it, it, it's just in addition to like the the other stuff. This is like mm-hmm. you know just feels yeah, worse. It's a back to back graduation announcement in two days straight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And th- three straight four shows that Shinshin was in. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Grim Reaper Shinshin. Yeah, but just yeah. to add, like, so Koto Chan said she wanted to stay and finish up like being leader of kawaii so now that the shuffle has been announced that mm-hmm. and the non-battle groups are ending then basically she said oh she's gonna graduate at the beginning of february when the groups end mm-hmm. and then like she even acknowledged in her blog like oh you know it's really weird to me for me to announce at this time well first of all it was on her seitan side and then like we kind of joke about members members like anticipating that members will announce graduation on their seitan side but it actually doesn't happen much yeah yeah like the last it happens more of like akb and then like other yeah groups. it's an akb thing not not an NMB thing yeah but she said like yeah, she feels she was like apologizing for like, oh yeah, it's on my Satan site, and then like recently I started the camera, and then my sheep web magazine thing, mm. and then she was saying, oh, I just want I want to leave some more memories for everyone, because yeah. I don't know like yeah, other yeah other than that I don't know how much impact she leaves on NMB as a whole. Obviously, like her for her fans, like they care about her, but yeah. I'll yeah. say that uh, when she's gone, I won't have to worry about having a hard time trying to hear her because she's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and also yeah. compared to the others too, Cotonese did already decide it, right? Yeah, so she yeah. said it's kinda weird. in her Insta, uh, Insta Live, I think. Like, so for 11th anniversary, she actually missed it due to illness or, or like physical condition. And she actually was originally going to be in the which one unit. Really? Like, that's, that's odd. I mean, they need to put her somewhere. <laughs> and then, like, I she, think she probably would have replaced uh, Coconut or Mikana. Yeah. I think one of them had, like, too many yeah. spots, like, in that block. Mm. Yeah, and she, yeah, she, even, she even said she was supposed to, like, make the background video for that. Because she's in, been into making, like, the... Her magazine thing mm. and it kind of fits with that style but then she said like she watched the live stream and like not seeing herself perform in it she kind of realized yeah i don't yeah i don't think i can continue doing this so that's around when she decided that's fair mm. if you look i mean uh, you know i don't really want to be me mean to her but if you do look at like, uh, like follower rankings and stuff like that, like she is like very, very bottom tier. Yes, sometimes yeah. it's like kind of shocking how low she is. It's not like I don't know, like oh, maybe I just really like D three, but she's like she does her own. She does her weird little things, like her like. Like the sheep uh, the, the sheep thing, like the and the lucky draw every week. Yeah, I mean she she yeah. she tried. Like you can't say that she didn't work hard, right? Like she 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 tried her best, and yeah, it just didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Like she's below like a couple of uh, seven gens already, and they started yeah. like Twitter, like you know, two years after her. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan, you said like she was like 
the commute from uh, Nagoya. Or from yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we didn't really talk about that. Like, yeah, one, 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 one other factor probably for her was that, like, even if she wanted to stay, like, the commute is probably horrible, right? Like, putting aside, like, the cost, like, the, the toll it takes on you is probably crazy. I think she takes, like, she doesn't even take the Shinkansen. She takes, like, the, the other one because it's cheaper. Kintetsu. The Express. Um, yeah, there's like a direct train Kintetsu from Namba something. to Nagoya, Kintetsu. Yeah, I but mean it's it's, it takes it's still like expensive. An hour longer. Yeah, and, and it, it, I mean it is cheaper than the Shinkansen, but not that cheaper. Yeah. So it still costs yeah. a lot of money, and yeah, I mean if I were her, like you know, that's one that's one thing that you would consider, right? Like you know, I I'm going nowhere, and then I spend like you know. I don't know. All my paycheck. Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks a a week or something, right? I mean, I imagine it's like some like commuter pass or whatever. Or like Yoshimoto it's, like does some. It's still a lot. Uh, yeah, it's. Okay. You, you do you know how much the commuter pass uh, on the Shinkansen costs per per month? It was like two hundred thousand yen. Okay. Which is probably it's definitely like way more than her salary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I guess doing that for like three more than three years. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm 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 impressed that she she was able to like last that long. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess the the difference, I guess, with her, at least, like she was at least done with high school by the time she started doing that. I think I think when she joined NMB, she was about to go to university. Yeah. So yeah, so it's exactly that time, right? Like, I, I mean, I have no idea what kind of university she goes to, but like, if it was a four-year university, then it's coming up to the end of the four years. Yeah. So this is uh, this is probably the time when you know her classmates are starting, like you know, interviewing for jobs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's probably like, you know what? I probably should do that. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, it, it's a it's a lot of yeah. I mean, it's a lot of consideration. Like, you know, us as fans, right, we never, like, think about that too much, but, I mean, these are real people, right? And, you know, they're young, they're young girls. And there's a lot. So I think, like, probably, like, she's, like, you know, she and, like, Misaki also is, like, in the same situation. Yeah. It's why, it's why, like, like, um, Misaki, like, had the thing where she said, like, oh, no, I'm going to high school in Aichi, but I'm not going to quit, don't worry. And she has to do that last, all the time. Famous last words, I know, yeah. I know. She has to do that all the time, though, because... I mean, it's so much easier to quit <laughs> if you don't live in Osaka. Yeah. Because, right. like, uh, it, uh, you know, someone like, you know, uh, Fuwa or Mochan or... Like, oh, Mikana, right? D3. Like, she, they're from other prefectures, but they moved to Osaka. Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder if Fuwa still goes to... Totally back. Course, no, no, of course not. That that makes no sense. Yeah, Shinkansen doesn't go there. Yeah, like <laughs> it's closer. It's actually like physical distance, pretty close. But there is no train that goes to Totori because it's you know it's fucking Totori. Who the hell will go there? <laughs> For the sand dunes. <laughs> it's like, you go and you see the sand dunes and you're done. And you don't actually want to go back to Totori anymore. And you go to the uh, Conan town. <laughs> That's actually on the whole other side of the prefecture. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I've been to Totori. Like, it's like a two or three hour bus ride. So. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I thought that like, um, so one thing that I thought was going to happen with Kotochan was she was going to move to Osaka. But what what's really weird, she didn't move to Osaka. Yeah, you'd think maybe after like the first year or two, you, like you might want to make that jump. But yeah. I guess it's probably hard to do that. I think for her, it was the other way around. It was like you know she was already going to university and she didn't want to transfer universities. Yeah, so she didn't. Yeah, and like it, it, even like if she went had online classes for a while due to COVID, like that they went probably went back to on campus. Yeah, yeah because this is Japan. You know, you have to go to the office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's not, and it's also not that bad here yet. Yeah, yet. Well, did you see, did you see the case numbers today. <laughs> Five hundred in Hiroshima. Yeah, 
it, it's a thousand in Tokyo today. So. Oh. Ah. Uh, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So Kotone is leaving. Yeah, and also she won join upcoming Hanasika either. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is before yeah. the release of the next single. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we don't know if Amidu is doing that. Prob- maybe. Her date is still undecided. Yeah. Okay. There's a chance. But I mean, it's kind of a weird they could, timing. Like, yeah, they could. Like, the sales will start next week on January 13th. So she, they yeah. need to decide, like, if she'll do some dates or something like that. Yeah. Because otherwise, I think she'll be, she'll be sticking around to, like, uh, you know, March, April, probably. So I mean, like, those, those are the dates. We'll see. Yeah. And uh, we also got uh, one more graduation announcement to talk about what? Uh, this month. What? Kotone isn't the worst news for the week? N- nah. nah. It, it's even worse. God damn it. So uh, this is the one that hurts probably the most. That is uh, Umiyama Kokona has announced graduation. Wait, you oh, mean no. to tell me it wasn't? it wasn't like a bad dream? Uh, I'm I'm still like I'm still not convinced of that either. <laughs> Wake up and it's still it's New Year's Eve on 2021 again. Yeah, yeah. we're watching uh, <laughs> Momotetsu. It's like fucking. But why, but why is Coco not not there? <laughs> <laughs> because she's oh. underage, Jeff. <laughs> she's underage. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Coconut is leaving us. This kind of came out of nowhere, random, mixed Fuck. juiced show. Oh. I had like such a bad feeling that day. I was like, oh, it's a mixed juice show today. Oh my god. And the whole time, like, I think we were like, yeah. always like, went, oh, mixed juice. Like, this was before they actually announced the details of the new single. Like, oh, are they going to reveal a new single? Yeah. Yeah, I had a bad feeling too when reading Kokona's tweet before mixed yeah. juice show. Oh, they had the usual, like, oh, I'll help you watch it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it was, it did. She it actually did. never tweeted anything about that. <laughs> it did, yeah. It, it was, like... So, that's... Actually, for me, for me, the biggest... Like, I mean, we can, we can go around. But, like, the biggest tell was the stupid, like, uh, the calligraphy thing. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was, yeah, I was, yeah. I was kind of joking about it, but, like, I had a feeling. You know, you, you knew, yeah. Yeah. Ex- explain in case okay so um um i mean i'm sure everyone knows this like nmb does like calligraphy every new year like it's a japanese thing where you you write like the the like your uh, not not necessarily goals for the year right but like what um what what you feel best symbolizes you know 2022 for you and then uh kohona used the kanji for uh, uh, uh wrote the kanji say shun which means uh, blue, blue. <laughs> blue spring. No, it, it uh, it's literally blue spring, but uh, in Japanese it, it means like your youth, and um, it's it's a very common phrase that idols use when they're saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Because As evidence yeah. from uh, Ion, yeah, uh, Ion did uh, for... live. Yeah, it was. She did like a uh, yeah. on the on like the VTR or whatever she wrote on the blackboard. Seishun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, Seishun by itself doesn't really mean anything, right? But like you know, idols whenever they graduate, they always say like, oh, you know, I I love NMB, uh, I love you know, I I gave my Seishun, <laughs> Seishun, my, my, yeah. my youth, I gave my youth to you guys, you fuckers, basically. <laughs> And yeah, I, I mean, I, you know what? I <laughs> I remember I remember talking about this during Ion's like the podcast we did for Ion. And I said like, I like hearing them hearing her say like you know N and B was my youth. Like kind of like makes it real for us because like you know these girls are giving up their youth for you, right? And then you know they they say something like that to make you feel guilty. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they don't mean anything by it, but like, you know, I, I feel like incredibly guilty about it. But yeah, oh yeah. my god. Anyways, Matt, what was your tell? Anyway, it, it, yeah, I think there's a bunch of other tells like the double center. Uh, 
Yeah, there's that. Like, and she basically like since. I guess we can even say like as far back as like 11th anniversary. No, I see even like how, like, even how before hard. that. I think even yeah. before that, probably even like Lola Concert two. Oh, no, no, no. I say even non battle one. Yeah, yeah, non battle yeah. one. Yeah, that's probably the earliest uh, tell. Just because like she, she felt checked out with Miru. Miru did nothing really to promote her, and so like kind of like she was kind of doomed to be like a background member for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like everyone on mixed juice kind of felt like that, so I don't know. It might be that might be a cause, not an effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also on Sidaria Nagi, her position drop, and yeah. she kind of frustrated about that. I still remember. Yeah, and then the love anniversary. You know, she wasn't the last uh, member to have a solo center or center. Yeah. Yeah, that w- that was bullshit. By the way, that was like a big, big tell. Yeah. Um. She wasn't really in much of a uh, 24-hour yeah. TV. Yeah. Yeah. Like her to, to a suspicious degree, degree, actually. Yeah. Like, it's just DJ Kokono is, like, the only thing I can remember, I think, that she did. I mean, there was a couple of, like, uh, cosplay plus, stuff. Plus the Carl, game, Carl one. <laughs> Carlo g yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, during the, the New Year's announcements stuff, she just seems kind of very, like... No reaction to the announcement of the Devil Center, and then yeah, she definitely seemed like very checked out for at least for the last year, you know, yeah. half year. I mean, yeah. like we've talked about that. We talked about that, like in the awards, right? How she was the disappointing member. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. being passed by Ray. Like at, at let's say at some point, you know, so Kokona said she had been discussing with management for a long time about her decision to graduate. So then at some point, let's say she told them and then management is like, okay, we got to push Ray now. Mm. So then, yeah, I, I think after a certain point, all the pushing Ray is to is for her to take over after Coconut. But then like maybe at some point before that was like, you, you know, what I at, at many points when we we're discussing the Coconut versus Ray position stuff, I thought, oh, Coconut needs like a rival to push, push her, her up. harder yeah because yeah. so, yeah. like the competition will make her, both of them rise up and then is it like oh coconut sees this happening and then she doesn't want to like be part of it and she that factors in why she wants to graduate mm. well yeah, i, I mean know. it's 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 the chicken and the egg right like yeah. how, did management start pushing ray because they wanted a rival for coconut or did management start pushing ray because Kokona was fucking leaving. Yeah, we don't know. But... Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I think it's I think it's the latter case. Yeah, I think so too. Not now, now that I think about it. End result is that we all everything's on Ray now, at least for the time yeah. being. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Not, not gonna get into the hot takes quite yet, but I guess I guess it might as well. Uh, like I feel like the Kokona graduation is worse than Ions. Yeah, I mean, like, it's like a big during during the Ions the Ion thing. Like, I mean, I remember saying that like if Kokona leaves, then we're fucked. Well, she's left, and we're fucked. Yeah, we're yeah. fucked, <laughs> and we are fucked. Yeah. yeah, because like with Ion is like, oh, at least you know we still have Coconut. Yeah, I'm like, okay, well now Coconut's gone. So we, now, we, who we've we have run, we, we've it? run out of the. At least we still have. And yeah, we can like, also depend on Mikana for now. Cannot. No, no, yeah, it's like, uh, look at this. Yeah, 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 Mikana, she's like too risky, I think. I don't think it's risky. I think they're, pun- pun- they're still punishing her. They're still yeah. punishing her, yeah. but even then, it's like, still like, she still has like too much heat from like, you know, Boonshin is still like trying to like, yeah, watch her or whatever, you know. Uh, you know, Ray. This whole push, I mean, it feels very artificial. It does, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now that I like, think about it, like if you think, like if you think about it, like maybe even her speech during the Lily concert was uh, yeah. scripted. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, there's always like an element of management push, and then how the member responds, right? Yeah. Hmm. And I think she. Yeah, we've kind of discussed this before. I think Ray has improved her performance and stuff a lot, but then in terms of outside popularity, I, yeah, she's like the weakest out of Lapis Arch to have any chance at that. 
I mean, mm. weakest as Depends in depends like, on what metric. No, no, no. I mean, she is the weakest, like by far. I think, like, ah, uh, even you look at like sales, right? Like, Coco na beats her, right? In sales, yeah. I mean, so, even on Ray Seitan she also didn't mention about one thing being a center only once a solo concert. Shen. I still remember it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like, I mean, uh, let's not let's not lose it. We can we can talk about like the future of NMB a, a bit later. Uh, we, let's okay. let's focus on Gokuna's graduation. I'm just like I'm just bringing back yeah, like the whole like you know. Alternatives to coconut you know, now that she's gone. So it's like that. Like, yeah, I know. We can, we can talk about now? that, but then yeah. I want to talk about like, why the fuck is she leaving? And why now? Yeah. And why? <laughs> I mean, so she said, I, yeah, focus on her studies. studies. Because... I mean, she's graduating high school, I think. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. So in yeah, March... she's one. She's one year younger than I am. Okay, so she she would be going to university then. So maybe it was it was exactly that. Like, you know, she, she saw Ayan leave and say, like, you know what? Maybe I have to leave too. Hey, I mean it's the same reason as you said for Amirun and Koto chan. <laughs> like some t- at some point they realized they don't want to keep doing this. Yeah, but mm. But it's Kokuna though. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like her personality doesn't seem like that kind of person where she has like her best interest in mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's parents too, right? Yeah, that's why I think it's definitely like I think maybe her parents probably like pressured her to quit rather than she. Quit. I don't. But I then, don't like, think her it's... whole attitude. Her whole attitude recently though has been like she's done with this too. Yeah. So. But I mean, that could also have been a factor. Well, that's of, like, just re- resigned to your fate or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I don't think. I don't think. It's as black and white as like your know, her parents made her quit. It was more probably like her parents like you know sat her down and say like okay so you're graduating high school, what do you want to do with your life? Yeah, obviously she yeah. has agency too. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there there are some girls that were that were that when it was really obvious that their parents made them quit, like you know, uh, like uh, Yudia, right? Really? Did her parents make yeah, her Yudi. quit? It kind of, I think it feels a little similar. Yeah, I think Yuri, uh... yeah. Like, she took breaks because she needed to study for school. Oh, yeah. Well, because she's a, she was a massive idiot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I mean, so Ryan's, too. Ryan probably is thinking of, like, Mizuka Mirai, right? Yeah, I am. I am thinking of Mizuka yeah. Mirai. Because she I'm fucking sorry. cried uh, during her announcement and then, like, her graduation show. It's like, yeah. you know, she doesn't want to quit. Yeah. But, I mean, so in Coconut's speech, she said, like, oh, I've achieved all my dreams of being an idol. You know, she was, like, sent to she was in... Did you really? Yeah, <laughs> did well, she really? I, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I mean, half of, it might be her trying to convince herself that she did. But... Probably. Yeah. But most most I girls mean, she... say that, right? Kui like, Ganai, right? And because, they, you know, fucking... They, they, they read, like, Fist of the North Star or something. And, and <laughs> they, they think it's cool to say something like that. My, I know, what is, what, what is it? Or, like, ore, ore no Jinsei ni Kui Ganai or something. Like, what the fuck? And also, you're already dead. Yeah, there's more than one. There's more than one famous quote for that show. I know. I, like, the Omega motion. Like, uh, you're already dead. Beca- became like a meme on the, in the Western world. But like, one of the most most famous ones that they say is like, you know, my I I have no regrets in life. And it it it's become like part of like mainstream. Like you know, everyone says it, right? Like you know, when you quit like baseball or something, right? You say that. And that's fine because, like, these people are like you know thirty, like in their late thirties or forties already. Like they, you know, they they won the world championship or whatever bullshit that they do. But like you know, idols, like you know, the I I I if you say that you don't have any regrets, I what really? I'm sure you do. Yeah, like, oh, very few people can actually say that, right? Yeah, I mean, even Sayaka probably still had regrets when she quit. It was like you know what you know she was never like you know thank you or whatever. Yeah. And to be fair, like Sayaka left when NMB was on a free fall. I mean, yeah, and yeah. she pushed but, I mean, and she pushed us down. She was the last uh, string on the parachute, and <laughs> yeah. she just cut cut herself off. Yeah. I mean to to support Coconut, like she was 
center, although it's double center, and she achieved a lot more than most members ever will. Of course, I mean, I, I mean, like, I- Ayan said the same thing too, right? Like, oh, at least yeah. I was able to become center before I quit. It was like, oh my god, Ch- channeling sleeves here, but like, <laughs> I I think it, it, I think it's fucking bullshit though. Like the they 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 did like you know um uh, jerk her around a bit and last in the last year right in the last year yeah because yeah. yeah. she had a i would say she had a really good like 2020 that was like when she had the solo concert and that was, like, was <laughs> that's in january was that? man that right right i mean yeah but even then like she was like you know top front and center you know center for like you know it was her and ion together but even then i feel like yeah. she was getting I mean, a lot of love like it was like a really good year for her i'm like oh man even bright, even with yeah, Akarin graduation, right? She got a lot of um, attention, attention there attention, because, yeah. of Aka, because of because of Akarin. And what one thing though, <laughs> and like you know this like whole can of worms again is that I I think she got fucked by COVID a couple of times because like uh, Miru wasn't able to leave like uh, earlier, right? Like she was supposed yeah. to leave like in the summer, and it got delayed all the way until the fall. And like so, because like last year, NAB only had one single. Like so, we we never got like the coconut single. Yeah, yeah, and, and we never will either. Yeah, and we never singles. will. <laughs> but like now, now I think of, I don't know. Like I like one of my first reactions, like uh, after like hearing that she graduated, she announced graduation, was like, "Fuck, we shouldn't have done all these stupid grad singles." <laughs> You know who started Even this Yuri's. trend? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Even Yuri's. Yeah, I mean the thing the thing with Yuri, and, I, and I'm gonna say this, like no one expected like the graduation rush after. Yeah. So mm, when, yeah. when she got the graduation single, it was like, Oh, okay, finally she gets a sing- she gets a solo center. Right? And that's fine, like yeah, yeah. you know, you, you skip one yeah, single. Her getting a solo center is not a problem. Yeah. It's her getting a graduation, I think is it just timed up it was weird. No, and I mean, say, I, I think I think there's nothing wrong with Hatsukoi. The problem was that after Date Date, you had, like, Koinanka. And then Shidare and Agi. That's Inagi. the problem. Yeah. So, if 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 we had, like, perfect perfect hindsight, like, and obviously no one has perfect hindsight, but let's say we did have perfect hindsight, then maybe Hatsukoi should not have been Yuri. Maybe it should have been, like, Kokona or Ayan. Yeah. Or or basically we we flip it and then we do that in 2019, and then in the in the spring of 2020 we get like Hatskoy with Kohona. Yeah. Right, and then like uh, and then Koinanka and Shidare and Agi doesn't exist. Yeah, that'd be that'd be yeah. Really yeah, I mean, it's almost like Akarin, f- or like. I don't want to say she forced herself into things, or but like maybe management relied way too much on her. Yeah, I mean and, because she's she yeah. was quote unquote she was the most mainstream star back then. Yeah, and then bringing she was in, like shadow captain the whole time. Yeah, and bringing in the girl fans. Yeah, which was like a she whole she new changed dimension. she changed like the entire like trajectory of NMB. Yeah, but then and even like we, the extent we, to other groups because like she like, created the whole like you know girl section for her concerts. Yeah, yeah, but we see now it's kind. Maybe we should have realized it was not sustainable after she left. I mean, y- y- you're gonna want to try to keep those fans, yeah. right? I, I mean, I don't blame I don't blame management for that. Like the I don't know. I, I, I think the problem with Akari was giving her the grad single. She yeah, she was a super important she's a super important member, but not a future like, center. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The only like first gen members like Sayaka, I was trying to think, okay, like, what like grad singles were deserved. I think it probably was just Sayaka, Milky, Nana. Like even with Nana it was more like I mean, it doesn't matter, right? We were still at the peak back then, so it's yeah. like okay, give her a single, give her a center. Milky say, even to say also, goodbye I to think. her. Milky, of course, like of course, like she deserved the center. Like it's fucking Milky, and and, single, and like guess, Sayaka, right? Anyway, like yeah. obviously yeah. you're gonna Those... do that for Sayaka. Yeah, 
but like I don't know. Like I mean, you guys, you guys give me shit for Yuri, but like, yeah, maybe. But like, that's only if you could, you know, if you could see the future and say like, okay, we, like you know, we we shouldn't have. The, <laughs> basically, right now you can say like, okay, maybe we shouldn't have given like Yuri, uh, Yuri, Akarina, and Miru a grad single, right? But like you know, it's done. Yeah. Yeah. What they shouldn't yeah. have done was given uh, Akarin the grad single. I think that's the biggest one. Because they have established, basically they gave Akarin the grad single, right? So basically Yuri and Akarin got the grad single. Then obviously you're going to have to give Miru one. Like there's no... no. Yeah, you said a president. Yeah. So it's like not... So now now when, when, when eventually Nagisa says like, you know, I'm going to move to Tokyo, you're going to have to give her one. Like, maybe even later this year, right? Yeah. I mean, they'll just stick with Muchujin again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, at I don't this know point, point track. <laughs> at this point, it would be like a massive insult to her to not get one. No, I think I think Miru is fine with getting one because she had many s- solo centers before that. And, yeah. But then, like, yeah, maybe the criteria is if your first center is going to be the grad center. <laughs> Yeah, no. Maybe no. not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that means no Akari, no Yuri. Yeah. yeah. And I guess yeah, no Nagisa. Yeah. Quintet. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we're, we're Saipi didn't get shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's more her fault for leaving, like, so soon. Yeah, I mean, if After, she if yeah. she if she left in, like, the spring or something, maybe she could have gotten one. Yeah. That would have and been Azusa. even more fucked. What? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I don't know like the I think yeah the the, the, the whole Kohona thing is like so fucked like I think it's t- too soon to fully like, digest I was telling still. you guys right if we were gonna do like a hot takes podcast and you were like no let's you know let's wait a week so we can calm down it's like well I still haven't calmed down <laughs> <laughs> yeah. didn't I mean cause we Got a like salt poured in the open wound with um, Koto yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I mean, like Kokuna is like she was like you know the 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 uh, the uh, Star Wars meme right? Like you were gonna be the one. The chosen the chosen one. one. Chosen yeah, that was for Ion, but <laughs> you can do the same thing for Kokuna too. <laughs> yeah. This could be like in Star Wars, like the movie starts and like Luke and they are both dead. And then we end up with uh, Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> where the center is Palpatine's granddaughter. <laughs> Spoiler! It's like his, Spoilers! It's like his granddaughter. Spoilers! No, I, I don't know. Like, okay, so we can, we can talk about Rey. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you could be, like, the biggest Ray fan in the world, and you still you should probably still think, like, you know, she's not Maybe that's be- ready. Yeah, Maybe that's because we're not, she's we're not, not really center material. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, we just don't see her as, like, center or ace or whatever. And, like, some of these other, like, alternatives, you know, Kato, Wakapon, not... Uh, not really. Wakapon, definitely not. I mean, I'm sorry, Aruda, but, like, no. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> like... I, I I mentioned this on the Discord today. Like you know the 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 like best case scenario for Wakapon, she turns into like another Nagisa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I see Kato and Wakapon being like the like Nagisa Akari like yeah. wings to the center. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Because but, like, at this rate, the future center is gonna be in seventh generating the most ideal yeah. candidate. Yeah, yeah. Because again, like I said before, like, Mikana, like she's. We can't we can't trust her yet quite yet. We have to wait for her to cool down. By that point, it might be too late, and she'll probably leave. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Um, and then yeah, we're up to like as yeah, as artists at seven minutes, so Zion and Fuwa, which yeah, they're not ready yet. But that's the thing, though. Okay, I mean, and we're not we're not getting in like fuck it. Don't, don't get me into that rant now. It's like <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that yeah. soon. <laughs> But like okay, I mean we can talk about this in the sense that okay, if not Ray, who, right? And there's like we don't really have many options. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's no and, and the thing is like the management isn't even like building to new members. 
Or every time they do, that member's like, nope, and then peace out. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, like, okay, so if you look at, like, uh, we haven't talked I'm... about the Sokaku, right? Oh, my God. Nope. No. <laughs> so if you look at, like, the, 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 the team formations, like, who, who like, who, who are the centers or who are the aces? Yeah, who are, who are management looking at? And, like, obviously, like, you know, the race team is Ray, right? And then, like, the other yeah. ones, like, it's Nagisa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're they're going to ride they're gonna ride the Nagisa train until it no, derails. I don't think so. We can talk about that. I don't... I, I mean, if they do, then that's really stupid. But I don't think they will. I mean, it's NMB management, man. Like... So. <laughs> And the thing is, like, they struck gold with Nagisa. So, and, like, the way, uh, in the same way they struck gold with Akarin, right? So, I think they're just gonna ride it, ride it until, you know, I don't know. The thing, the thing with Nagisa is, like, I just, like, she's weird in that I wouldn't be surprised if she announces graduation, like, you know, in a month. Yeah, but I also wouldn't be surprised if she stays for like you know two three years. Yeah, I feel like she might be. It's probably like the difference between the two like kind of kinds of members. Like so, you have like your veteran like old guard members, and I think like they leave like when they think the group is like in like stable or like you know in good standing. I think that's kind of like when Sayaka left. Mm-hmm. Uh, Akarin to a lesser extent. Akarin. I think Akarin thought. I think Akarin, when she left, she thought she was leaving and then be in good hands. Yeah. yeah. I honestly think. Because it was a good time. Yeah. Because and it I was like the, the next gen. We weren't yeah, having the, these the conversations. Gen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the next gen was really strong when Akarin left. So yeah. so it was like, in a way, in a way, it was kind of welcome in that, like, she sa- she was saying that, like, you know, I- I'm giving up my Zenbatsu spot and then... You know, uh, there's like NMBs going on to the new chapter or whatever, right? And then, yeah. you know, good luck, guys. Yeah. So, in a way. And then, yeah. yeah. So, there's like that kind of like graduation announcement, which I think I think gets okay, you have my blessing. Yeah. And then there's like, I think these more recent ones, like, uh, where it's just like kind of, like, you know, millennials or Zoomer selfishness. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck, it, I'm done. I mean, I mean. And that's like the Ion, that's the Coconut, that's like, you know, Yuri. you know, some of these other, yeah, UD. I mean, if you think about um, it, right? Like, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm a, you know, I'm probably the biggest Yuri fan you'll ever meet. But, like, <laughs> really? No. Yeah. But let's, <laughs> let's settle this. First, that's inside joke. <laughs> but, like, her, her, her leaving was super selfish. Yes. Right? Yes. And she even set, that's like, uh, an arbitrary. Quitter. Yeah. And she set up like an arbitrary deadline for herself, etc., etc., etc. But yeah, so I mean, it, even if she stayed, like the thing about it though, if she stayed, she'd be twenty-two years old. She'd be younger than Mew. <laughs> hey, but at least we would have a, 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 a better idea of who our center is or who our ace is. I mean, yeah, if Yuri stayed, then it would be just Yuri. Yeah, or we would have like the the ion coconut stuff would never happen. It would just be Miru and Miru and Yuri. Yeah, yeah, which is you know good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know if that's good. Still, so when we're still fighting over first and third gen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the shit we make fun of AKB for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like our new gens have fucked off too. So we're 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 literally we're literally on the third choice right now jeff for the new gen center actually i'm not even sure if ray counts as third choice yeah mm. that's kind of like it's the choice we it was a or b and then there's like a right in answer <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just put in the right in answer <laughs> Because uh, I, I, I could imagine, like, when Akarin left, right, she was like, okay, then I Ayan's there, and then, you know, Kokona's there, and then you have Mikana, and then you have Suchan, and, like, all that, and then so it, it will be, it'll be okay. Now we are left with no one but Ray, And nothing against Ray, of course, but, you know, I'm sure she tries her best, and she, she's done, I mean, she's done as well as she could, but, like, if you're, if you're, like, you know, next gen hope is Ray. That's kind of like fucked. I mean, 
we could be surprised. We could totally like you know change our minds. You know by the end of the year and like. Oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. Like you know she yeah. she was like you know most improved member or something in the Takoyaki yeah. Awards. So yeah. But then like I mean like her her original selling point though was like what gravure which is that like a really strong like how you want to focus on that right. I mean, I don't know. Like that, that's personal. That's but personal. Other members this. also like other like you know like Miru's selling point was also Gravier. You know, yeah. Sayaka for a time was also Gravier. Yeah, and Milky. I mean, N M B has always been like a gravy. That's it's it's, it's in our DNA, yeah. right? <laughs> We're just going back to it. Basically, uh, uh, Akarin um, served us off into like the, yeah. the other direction. <laughs> now, now we're just course correcting. Yeah. I don't know. It's... Fuck why coconut? <laughs> <laughs> now, now we're like, okay, so you gotta pray that Ray doesn't leave. Yeah, because I feel like we're probably gonna be having the same conversation a year from now about Ray. How old is she? She's twenty, she's 20 years old. She'll be twenty-one. She'll be turning twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one this year. Actually. Yeah. How old was Keiichi when she left? 23 was she 23 no so 2016 yeah she's like surprisingly young she started out pretty young yeah she was like 14 i think when she started or what keichi keichi or ray keichi 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 yeah she left at sixth anniversary and she started around like 14 or 15 so she would be like 2021 she would be at the same age as as ray when she left Uh oh okay yeah I mean, but Ray is in a way higher position than KG yeah. ever was. Yes, that's true. true. And I'm sure, like, management won't let her leave, like, at least for a year. If they're, if they're smart, they won't. Like, I, I mean, I think this is, like, what, like, Sakamichi does, like, with their, like, big, big graduations. It's, like, they... Sprinkle them over a year. <laughs> they sprinkle them over, like, yeah. They, don't, like, don't let the big person leave until they have a new person already, like, in, yeah. in line, yeah. Uh, what we should be doing. Oh my god. Yeah, do you want, well, we do you want to transition to that? To that? <laughs> Actually, Keiichi left at uh, 21, I think. Oh, Damn, okay. uh-oh. 22. Uh-oh. 22. Yeah, 22. Yeah, 22, sorry. 22. Okay, so she we left have... in 2017. Yeah, okay. So we have uh, two, two more years already? Maybe. One year, two years. I mean, when when Ray gets to twenty two, and then you know, you need like yeah. a next gen. Yeah, at that point, yeah. Also, yeah. Hopefully, you know, Zion or Fuwa will a have not graduated by then, and b are like, you know, and that's never a fucking positive, guarantee. And are and are like you know doing so well that I hate her. So Fu was Fu was eighteen next year. So she's gonna yeah this year this year oh this year so she's gonna start thinking about like the exact thing that like Ayan and Kohona thought yeah I mean she did kind of have her like existential crisis like with the whole like shuffle in the Kinkusei stage yeah. losing yeah. her center spot so yeah. well let's hope she let's hope her character was built <laughs> uh, as you go back to Kokona, like the whole like age thing. Like and everyone keep on saying like oh you know she was eighteen you know oh, she's so young and like I, and I, I've been saying this like age doesn't mean anything anymore not anymore it used home. to matter though it, it used to matter not yeah. anymore but I think like Shu broke that kind of rule uh, not when she turned eighteen it wasn't yeah but like so if if your group is like you know at the level like you know in two thousand sixteen like NMB was like super popular right like so if you're like a top member back then and then you were graduating high school or whatever like it would be okay to continue like you know you wouldn't really think about like oh i should leave because so you've been in the group okay. because you're 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 in the, like a mainstream group right but then and you're successful yeah. yeah but nowadays it's gonna be like you know i mean i'm not, we're not yet chica but like we're, we're going there yeah so and, you know, if you're if you if you have like these events in your life, right? Like graduating middle school, graduating high school, graduating university. Like every time that happens, like you know, you, you have to like evaluate yourself, mm-hmm. saying like, okay, do I want to do this? Like, is there value in continuing? And then like you know, if they're if they're not like if this was Sakamichi, maybe they would have stayed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But like you know, Kokona is like you know. 
like I, like do I want to stay to be like you know this like kinda chica kinda not group or just like you know move on with my life that's that's the problem so like with with yeah. with, with Shu that was the, the shocking thing was that was like she was willing to throw it all away yeah but nowadays it's not like you're not really throwing away that much yeah that's the difference and that's why that's why I, I agree with you Matt right nowadays like age doesn't matter like, age doesn't matter and then like, I think Misaki also, could like, graduate uh, yeah, tomorrow and I wouldn't be surprised yeah, yeah. I think now it's like more uh, experience also is a factor now. Like, or I guess not experience, but like years in the group. Yeah. So, like, you know, people are talking about like how, like, oh, you know, Kato is like getting prepped to take over Kojin's position. But, like, you know, when Kojin leaves, uh, you know. Kato would be like massive veteran. Other <laughs> she'll be like 18. She'll be like 18, which, okay, in, in, the, in terms of like, quote unquote, the age check, that passes. Yeah. But in terms of like the year, like the years in the group check, she'll be seven be years like six, or something. Six, seven <laughs> yeah. years, yeah. yeah. You know, you probably you want the captain to be around for around eight years or so, you know, or have like when did that, five years? How how old was Kojirin in two thousand eighteen? That would be three like nineteen three years ago. Is she twenty two? Yeah, nineteen years. Nineteen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But also, she was in the group for she was super new two though. two years two two, two, two years, two years yeah. yeah yeah. So let's say let's so say saying, like in two years or so, whenever. Kojirin decides to leave. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that, that's true. So it, let's say in three years, like when Kojirin leaves, like the next captain should be someone from like eighth, eighth gen. Eighth gen. And not, or not, seven not Kato. Gen, seven gen. Gen. Yeah. But like, I'm not going to try to think of who would be seven gen. I mean, Mighty would be good, but also she would be, she wouldn't pass the age yeah. test because she would be like 21 by the time that happens. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, would, it would have to be someone from eighth or ninth gen. Yeah. Assuming like Kojin yeah, leaves in three years, yeah, right, right. Because yeah, I mean, I remember like us talking about it, like when Sayaka left, and we were like, oh, it should be Akarin because she's the true captain. But then, thank God, it wasn't her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then we would... and eventually like cause I went from like who the fuck is Kojin? Yeah, I think I still wasn't like as deep into NMB at that point. Yeah. To then, oh okay, you actually I think Sayaka made a good call. Yeah. Until 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 last year know, became a yeah until she became an anti vax and then, <laughs> but yeah I mean fucking everything's fucked with coconut yeah leaving I, I want to know spot. I want to know what what was her like motive yeah her her, her like what led her to decide to leave I, obviously she's not gonna tell us like. The truth. You have to buy her Hanshkai to find out. <laughs> I mean, she's not going to say anything. <laughs> no, no, she won't. I know. told you. I, 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 there are, I'm pretty sure some people who might not have that, like, uh, restraint. We'll ask, <laughs> Might right? try doing it. Yeah, we'll try asking. Yeah, I mean, she's not... I, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will ask, but she's not going to say anything satisfactory for you. She'll just, like, repeat, like, what she said. Like, yeah, exactly. She's going to oh, say, yeah, it's time. Like, you know, I want to, I want I want to, study. to study or blah, blah, study, blah, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the same thing. Like, yeah. I went through that when Yuri graduated. Like, she's not going to tell you it. Yeah, she's not going to tell you shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Andrew told me what she was doing when she was leaving. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna, <laughs> she, she will tell you what her plans are, but she's not going to tell you why she wants to leave. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also, like, I didn't need the why. I just needed the what. Right, I already knew why. You've been in the group for Yeah, I mean Ancho's like, different long. because like yeah, you know it yeah. makes sense, right? Like, okay. Yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Have right. we covered like, everything? People think like Kohana? who's who's yeah, whose fault is it? Is it manager's fault? Is it Kokon's fault? <laughs> I, I don't know though. Like I mean like, Sleeve was like blaming management. <laughs> management the whole time. Well, I mean like <laughs> Which there there is like an argument there. I think yes, there is some validity. Like they did kind of talk about last year. But, they, but there's no way that, there's no way that they wouldn't bend over for Kokona. Like if she wanted something, they probably would have given it to her. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just circumstances of last year with COVID and yeah, Miru leaving. If anything, Miru you should you should be blaming Miru. Yeah, it is Miru's <laughs> fault. Actually. Yeah, it's Miru's fault. If if they got, if they gave the center to Kokona, 
if they gave Kohona like another center last year, she might have been happy and like okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it but then I think your argument about like the mainstream group might also hold. Like you know, we wouldn't be in a better situation now. Yeah. 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 If Kokona was given center in McJuice during number battle, maybe. Yeah, I don't think so. Him. I don't think so. I don't think that ma- I don't think that matters to up. her. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't think it was looking like that. Like, I mean, if you watch the videos of them like discussing the teams, like making those teams. Everyone just pretty much like submitted to Meter's will. Yeah, I mean, I don't think. Uh, well, Kokona has always been shy, right? So she wouldn't have said yeah. anything. Uh, uh, but I don't think like making her center of mixed juice would have mattered. Like she, she's not that petty. Like I, I actually think like you know, it, there's the possibility that even if you gave her center, she would still have quit. Then we would have been extra fucked. <laughs> it would be like, oh, the current center is quitting. Yeah. I kind of like was arguing against sleeves, but not so forcefully, because I never really do. But I don't. Coconut was given a lot of stuff, like all these magazine features, all, this TV show. It just didn't go well due to both outside circumstances, and and then at some point she decided to graduate, and then that's why she turned into the, <laughs> the regular destroyer. <laughs> yeah. When all her features ended. Yeah, like yeah, she was given a lot of stuff, but it just was didn't work out. Yeah, mm. like it it didn't blow up as much as it would have in the past. It's just NMB is not that big anymore. Idols probably aren't that big anymore. Yeah, so it's K-pop to blame. Yes, fuck that. <laughs> no, it's Spotify <laughs> and TikTok. Spotify. Yeah. Zoomers. The Zoomers are to blame. Yes, blame Zoomers. <laughs> so so it is Coconut's fault then. She's a Zoomer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish there well, was think, a way yeah. for her to stay. Uh, or, okay, I'm, I'm I'm in the bargaining <laughs> stage now. Bargaining. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a way for her to... Yeah, I wish there was a way we could have made it work. But it is what it is. It's her life. Yeah, I think yeah we've exhausted <laughs> all we can <laughs> we've say. We've beaten about that horse. I feel like. Is there is there anything we haven't covered? Is there any angle we haven't covered, Jeff? <laughs> Do you want to go through that list of like all the theories posted on Matome? <laughs> no, <laughs> you could read it. No, it's no, briefly. it's not. No, it's kind of stupid. Yeah. Oh, give us an example though. I it didn't actually like, read it. It was just things like, oh, the NMB's salary is too low, so like no one thinks it's worth staying. <laughs> or like old gens are, like get everything, and new gens aren't giving any, any opportunities. That's Sleeve's argument. Hey, hey, well, that's true. Hey, that actually, that actually is true. That's actually true. I agree with that one. <laughs> we could probably even transition from that point. Yeah, to... do it. Okay. All right. Yeah, on that note of uh, old gens getting everything and new gens not getting anything, <laughs> twenty six single was finally announced. Uh, like fully like details, not just like oh we're doing it, like the, like bullshit announcement from Love Anniversary. Uh, yeah, twenty six single is coming out uh, February twenty third. No title yet, uh, but they did reveal the Simbatsu. and we got uh, Wakapon. Uh, you mean Uka, Chihi, Kojirin, Sadharu, Keito, Nagisa, Shinshin, Harakaren, Mighty, and Yuzu. So this is their first, both of their first uh, Senbatsu appearances. Uh, and Mikana, and then uh, it's going to be a double center with uh, Rei and Kokona. I thought you were going to say it's a double center with Mikana. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, so yeah, the little point about uh, senior members getting all the all the stuff, right? You see like three in a row here that like are kind of like like ah, oh, these any, any of these could have been switched. No, to another new gen member. I'll give you one of them. You mean no? All of them? No. Fuck Look the, at the sales. Plus. Sales don't lie. <laughs> 
Fuck the boomers. Well, I mean, I don't think Yumin even sold. I know, I'm, that's why I'm giving you Yumin, but not the rest. And Al, did Uka even? Uka and Chihi both sell, almost sell. Chihi sold out, Uka almost sold out, like, 30 slots or whatever it was. They're but both, they're both sadly like... Senbatsu, so I'm not giving you those. Well, I think Sad Haru sold out, but I think that's because of whales. And then I think Shinshin, I'm not sure if she mean, sold out. Uh, she, she, she sells because... really well. Uh, yeah. yeah, if we're going to talk about whales, then Mighty has the has Moby Dick. Yeah. Because yeah, she got her slots sold, like, increased yeah. over yeah. time in the last yeah. single. And then, yeah, sold them all out. Yeah. I'm not. I, I don't Yuzu... believe. I don't believe that like Mighty has become like you know this super popular member. I'm pretty sure it's like you know, a whale. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. Th- this this Senbatsu is like. It's very boring. I think uh, as we were predicting, this is like the boring Senbatsu. I, I like even predicted. like even before the the coconut announcement, it was like there was a lot of discontent about it. But like after <laughs> the coconut announcement, it's like fuck the Senbatsu. It makes sense yeah. why they did it, but also it's like, yeah, fuck it. It's so yeah. stupid. Like, what? Wh- okay, why do you have fifteen members for one? Like, what the yeah. fuck? Odd number? Like, was it supposed to be Momo? It was supposed to be sixteen, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, why not add one more, one more, and giving it to Seven Gen? Yeah, and then like, yeah. what is with the fucking yeah, boomers? I agree with that. No, no, I don't agree with that. <laughs> yeah, what is what is with the boomers? And then uh, like, they don't even push Seven Gen. We get one seven gen, which honestly, like, you know, Mighty, I think is okay. It's not the best, but I think it's, it's, mm. it's an okay choice. Yeah, but I think management is really trying to playing safe with the Senbatsu, though, by making every current gen is represented in the in the Senbatsu. That's why you mean is in <laughs> because he is he is second gen representative. Like, I don't know. My... I think I switched her for Miki and it would have been more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but no one would like that. <laughs> Miki would like that and her are like 10 dear people. Like, Mighty has... I mean, I don't want to turn to Envy Maya here. Like, they're, they're, uh, SNS is not the only factor. But like, she's like the fourth least popular member of NMB. I don't know. But, okay, so you guys say, like, you want to put in new gens because it gives them exposure, right? So then this is exposure. Like, she is getting attention within the group as being kind of a leader type person. Like, later in in the Sokaku, which we'll talk about, she was named vice captain of Team N. So Why we'll just her, her, though? Like, if you okay, want yes, to build yes, up yes, the oh, new yeah, yeah. members... Okay, well, I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I agree, I agree are also they should gens. have put at least one more, 7th gen. We're yeah. talking about Mighty here. Yeah. I think, so, okay, yeah, so going by popularity, then it's like Mew or somebody, right? Yeah, like, but why then, is it Mew here? So then, if you believe in Senbatsu as a place to, like, push young members, give them more popularity, Mighty fits that, I think. Yeah, I think I have no problem with my, like with Mighty being in the Simbatu. I don't have a problem with Mighty being have... but I have a problem with her being the only seventh gen there. Okay, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. The problem, okay, I think. we agree with that. I think add two more, basically get rid of one of the boomers and then oh. add two seventh gens, and that we I think we've been perfectly happy with this. Or even like put Taguchi in if you want, if you don't want to give seventh gens too much love. Like give. Give more people chances, right? Like, you know, who, what does, what the fuck does you mean being there do? Like, what do we gain by you mean being there? Because she's management favorite. Because he is because senpai, I think. She's it's incredibly unpopular. Yeah. She's incredibly unpopular. She doesn't contribute anything. Like, you know, you want to be a good dancer, then, you know, fucking, like, do danceable. <laughs> it just makes, well, it makes like, no sense. Like if, you're gonna, ultimate... if you're gonna have, like, a smaller Senbatsu for some fucking reason, then what the hell is Yumin doing there? We've been saying that since, like, last single also. When it was even smaller. I know. I know Shidari and Agi and uh, even, like, Koinanka. With Koinanka, it was like, okay, she's Akarin's friend, or whatever. 
Sure, you get you get one. Yeah. Not three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they keep on forgetting they'll take her off the list. <laughs> so somehow she still keeps on showing up. Maybe she just uh, showed like, up. I mean, Maybe she just showed up to the filming. It's like yeah. still getting the line messages. Yeah. Yeah. So the manager forgot <laughs> yeah, to remove, remove her from the group. group. <laughs> I mean, I want to say it's because she's a very dedicated to the group and management appreciates that. So, like at you... this point, that doesn't matter though. If you're gonna have like a limited number of people in there, you want to put in the members that will contribute to your like future growth. Mm-hmm. Like with Kohona, with, with Kohona leaving, right? Like with Kohona leaving, what the fuck? Like, so, okay, so who is gonna be center? Is it gonna be Ray and no one else? Like, Yumin's not gonna be center. Like, Uka's not gonna be center. Chi's not gonna be center. Nagisa's not going to be center. We should remove her. I mean, she's probably going to be center. Yeah. Yeah, also over, well, in, her, in her grad single. Yeah. Yes. It just, like, it's just, it's very confusing to me. Like, you, the, are they, are they, like, prepping, like, you know, Kato to be center? Is that, is that where they're going with this? They should have, they should have made it, like, I mean, I, I don't actually agree with 18 members and bots, so they should have made 16 members and bots, so got rid, got rid of mm-hmm. Yumin and then added, like, two more. Like, they could yeah, have put in, be... like, Deguchi or, yeah, you know, Deguchi and then Fuwa or Zeon or something. Yeah, and I think that would have been fine. And yeah, and like, you know, doing that, right, doing that simple thing probably, like, changes, like, how the Senbatsu looks. And also, like, the outlook or, like, the, you know, the trajectory of NMB yeah. going forward. It's going to be like, oh, okay, so now, you know, you that means that you're getting behind this girl, right? Like, you know, there there's a pos- there's potential there. Because like, you know what? Like, you know, Mighty's great, like, you know, she's like is she is she Heather Nemegami? Oh no, she's second 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 place, right? Yeah, so I mean, it could have been her or it could have even been Anju in here instead of her. And like definitely it would have been no different, really. Yeah, exactly. Like because you she's not going to be center. So but like you're setting up like your next generation, like back line. I think I, I think yeah, 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 yeah. I, like, I agree with that. Matt. She'll become the she'll become like the new Uka or new Chihi or whatever, and be like a solid you know third row member. Or even like best case member. scenario, she becomes like the next Kojirin, right? Which is you know fine, whatever. Okay, yeah. let's do that. But then why not? Why not find the next Ion or the next Kohona? Or the next Milky, as some Twitter posts. <laughs> oh, or yeah, or the next Milky, <laughs> yeah. right? Like. Why are you looking for the next Kojirin? Who the fuck cares? Well, I think actually, I think you, do, you wants need to a find next Kojirin. Kojirin. Yeah, but she's th- still there. Aya and Kokuna well. have left. Anyways, I think I, I don't want to derail it that much, but it, it was my point is like, you know, fine, you can put Mighty there, but then you should still have put in like Fuwa or Zeon. Yeah. Yeah. Better yet, both of them. That's why the sixteen and take out Yumi would have been like the perfect sub. Yeah. Or put in IP or something if you want, like you know, variety characters, and they fucking love variety characters. There were a lot. There was. There would have been like a lot of things you could do, like. You know, Yuzuha and Shinshin getting in. I have no problem with that because. You know, they probably deserve it based on sales and attention. But, like, you know, the boomers and, like, very, very confusing, like, back row choice choices as well. That's my... That's my rant. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's get to another rant. And that is the, the, the double center choice. Uh, I mean... So I it, was, we, it, was, it was... Ra- it was a rant. It, it, it would have... I would have complained about it, like, before the announcement... Before before, before Kofun's announcement. announcement, but now it's like yeah. okay, fine, whatever. It makes sense, but also like I think before the announcement, it's like why double standard? It's like the boring safe choice. Like before we knew about Coconut's situation, like oh okay, this this feels like a like a rehash of date date date. Yeah, yeah. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense, but also it's like on one hand, it's not a grad single, but also it is a grad single. It is a at grad least, single, yeah. though. At least it's not <laughs> yeah. so center. So. Yeah, I think it's not so... Ray said it's it that it is solo yeah. Kokona center. grad single. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I mean, I have two minds of this. Like, maybe maybe it would... Like, if we if we were logically consistent, 
then we would have when we should push it to be a uh, Ray solo center, right? Move yeah, on, yeah. like you know, forget Coco na whatever, right? And then when her she makes her announcement, when oh okay, that makes a lot more sense also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, I think that would have been like the biggest like alarm bells, red flag. That, okay, Coconut is on her way out. Yeah, but as as someone who likes Kokona, I'm I'm okay with her being double center. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I would have been okay with her being solo center. But, but then we get we then we're then it's a, a grad single. I know, I know. I, I'm saying like if if we were logically consistent, we would say like okay, then Ray should be solo center. I think yeah. it's a, always a balance, right? You need okay, so because like someone like Kokona, you if you like her, you want her to be center, and then at the end when she graduates, she gets a glorious send off, right? That's the motivation for you to stay being a fan. Yeah. Right. So and exactly. then you need to like sustain it to some degree, but then while building the future that's always the problem with the, the like the hardest balance with this 48 system yeah right mm. yeah and, and we don't have we don't have all the answers but like i don't know i i don't know i, I can't say that like you know management fucked everything up but i'm sure there must have been like a better way to do this yeah, I, like yeah. I said, I can definitely agree with adding at least one more new Senbatsu member. Yeah. That's the easiest yeah. choice. I mean, what? Why 15? <laughs> Makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I think, as I said, as I joked about, it's like, was it on the Golden Takayaki Award or the last podcast? It was like, management just rolls a 20 sided dice. And yeah. That's the number we get. <laughs> exactly. And it's like, it's 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 smaller than a normal senbatsu for some f- stupid reason, and then <laughs> it's an odd number. Yeah, it's an odd number f- for one, and then so the format you, is weird. It's like three lines instead of four lines. Yeah, and then Yumin's there. Like, what the hell? And Zeon isn't in there. Yeah, I, I <laughs> I'm trying to be you know, I'm trying to be fair here. Like, I don't want to push yeah, Zeon. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm saying, it could be Fuwa. It could be Fuwa. It could be Zeon. Like, yeah. oh, whatever. Yeah. Walk on the if you yeah. want. Yeah. It, it would be uh, another anyone but another boomer any any seven would be fine yeah even misaki I mean, I'm, misaki's not gonna fuck with <laughs> <me>, but... <laughs> hey stranger things have happened i mean even like if you want if you want like you know quote unquote buzz right like put Sion in yeah 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 i think we were all kind of like worried like oh gory push yeah if yeah, they put her in there right because i've been like four months three months since debut starting yeah yeah yeah, it, it it would be like, you know, I mean, we probably would be singing a different tune if Sion got in. It would be like, oh, what a gory push. But not, but like in the situation that we have now, and like, she's not young. She's 21 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, when when are you going to capitalize on her? They definitely seem like they are like doing a lot, pushing her a lot and like... In the variety the stuff. Hour. Yeah, variety stuff, definitely. Yeah, but... I mean, she's pretty talented. Like, she sings really well. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's actually had training, unlike other girls. So, I don't know. Yeah, like, uh, it's just, like, the combination of, like, the stupid Sambatsu and then Kokona. I mean, basically, Kokona leaving, like, you know, ruins everything. And, like, you know, like, Kokona leaving highlights, like, what's, like, so completely wrong about this Sambatsu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, maybe we can have hope for the next one, but like, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> there is no hope. Yeah. What do you think, Arda, about this whole thing? Yeah, I think I also agree that fifteen is a stupid number. At least, uh, if you if management wants to indeed making a balance, I think eighteen is more ideal number. With three more is from D three, six gen, and another seven gen. Hmm. Well, we don't have many more choices for six gen. It's a botsu. <laughs> I think yeah. that would be literally everyone. It's either Deguchi <laughs> or Rainaton. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we we've talked a lot how Yuina and even Reiko are close, supposedly, and they were yeah. both super disappointed in their like Mobame and blog posts. I mean, I I get 
I get it for Deguchi. I, 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 I honestly, I, I don't see it for Reiko. Like, Reiko, I think is like a different kind of. I, mean, I guess like what Mita Mao was never. Mita Mao was never big... Senbatsu. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's just management. Like, I guess you know, typecasting her or whatever. Yeah, I feel bad for her because like, they want her to be Mita Mao for some stupid reason. I mean, she looked up to Malkunes. Yeah, but then that loves, doesn't she mean she Mal- that doesn't mean she has to copy Malkune, right? Like it's not like Keiichi. It's not like Raychan become became Keiichi. She started off that way, I mean, but kind of definitely exceeded her. Yeah, with the grabbier stuff. But I mean, Keiichi, I mean, starting off, she was she was like a weirdo, like into like bugs and lizards and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. So the single is coming out. Yeah, February twenty third. We said that already. Uh, I think uh, Fortune Ashikai. starts next week or something. Yeah, it starts, yeah, yeah it starts like in five days or I guess a couple days. Um, which if you are, we, they haven't announced dates or anything, but yeah, I have to, I think it's probably gonna be March and April is usually they do like two months or so after yeah. release. They might do that that last weekend of February. If you really want to get into it, um, I, don't know, I, have, I have a video guide on my YouTube channel. You can check that out to how to sign up and apply and do all the all the calls. Check that out. Anyway, yeah. So uh, look out for that. Go by if you're if you're gonna be getting coconut, you better be doing it in the first round because it's gonna be a really tough competition trying to get her tickets. Yeah, it's gonna be like yeah, it's gonna be hard battle. Don't end up like Andy and end up with only one ticket for your last <laughs> handshake with her. It's always the I mean because of because of on, the online stuff like you never know. But if this was like the the uh like uh real life uh face to face ones I I could give you like you know good advice on it, but now I don't know because I don't do online hun- I, I, online hash guy I so I don't know how hard it is to win. But it's always like you know if it's a graduating member just you know go all out, and even if you think like you you applied way too much you didn't. Yeah, for these kind of things, yes. Yeah. It's hard to say. I don't know how much they they're gonna sell or how many are they. Yeah, how many are there in the first place, right? So yeah, I can Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, just go for as many as you can. It's probably the best advice. Yeah, yeah, and be prepared to lose a lot. Yeah, or be prepared to spend a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that, we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna talk about uh, the group shuffle, eighth generation, and some more stuff. We are back. Uh, so next, we're going to talk about the NMB's uh, New Year's Day show. This is a show they do every year at the theater. Kind of a special performance. Uh, I'm not going to go for the whole set list, just kind of the big announcements that came from that. Because we had a couple announcements we knew were going to happen, and a lot of announcements we thought might happen. Uh, yeah, yeah, so like the, the 26th single, that was actually kind of like a surprise announcement that happened. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, the, the first show, they did the top seven uh, theater performers who performed the most last year mm-hmm. uh it's a tradition were, nowadays yeah it's yeah. a theater megami yeah it's the, the the thing and uh yeah so those were uh zeon fua mirai ip yunanan mighty and anju uh i think that's in the order from yeah seventh to first yeah so anju did the most i think was it 60 70 uh, i think it was 70 meter. something it was a ridiculously 70, high yeah. number yeah, uh, because yeah, like her, like, her and Maya yeah, definitely was gonna be one of those two because like they like did a lot of subbing for the different non bell teams. Yeah. Oh, uh, Anju did ninety six. Oh yeah, ninety six. Oh shit. Zion was seventy one. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like basically seven gens was easy because like you know they do so many theater show they do so many of like that that stage. Yeah. Plus they always are like subbing around so. No surprise. Uh, Mirai is like the one not non seven gen member, but she was definitely hustling. You know, yeah, showing up in every team. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like that's kind of the one takeaway from the the New Year's show. But then also at the end of that show, uh, they revealed eighth generation. It's finally revealed, and so we got uh fourteen members. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Fourteen members. So kind of. 
not as high as I think I was hoping for, and especially now under current circumstances. <laughs> maybe a little too, maybe a little too low. Also, yeah, yeah. That, that that was another that's that's another one of the rants. Was like, you know what? They could have <laughs> fucking gotten more seven uh, eighth gens. Yeah, like I mean, like, like twenty would have been like a good number, probably. Yeah. Uh and so they kind of just like they performed Yumi and Nine, and then they uh, just did their introductions, like say their name and like you know, age and where they're from. Yeah. And at the, at this point, like the the first impression, not really much at that point. Like we didn't really know anything about them. Well, there were like the 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 reactions from the people who watched the showrooms. Yeah, the, the insane people. Yeah, it was like... crazy people. Oh, the did the girl that I followed in showroom did she get in or et cetera, et cetera. The answer is no. Yeah, basically for the most part, like all the popular showroom girls, like almost none of them got in. <laughs> except the top that's one. Why. Except the num- except the top one. And that's why Who? the camp that's center. Why I, hmm? That's why I didn't watch showroom because I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, I mean to be fair though, yeah. There's a lot of like you know uh, frustration there. It's like, oh man, like I like that girl. Why didn't she get in? I'm sorry, you guys can hear the dumb fire truck behind me. That's okay. <laughs> At least it's not the one every, that's every... Uh, doing the yucky emo. Do you guys do you get do you get that? Uh, I haven't seen that in ages. Oh, um, I saw that today. But this is like really annoying. Like. Late December to early January, there's this dumb fire truck that goes around the neighborhood just ringing his bell for no goddamn reason. <laughs> I think it's for, like, fire safety awareness, but it's, like, yeah. you're not... It's, you can do it for a week. Don't do it for fucking, like, a month. <laughs> it's so annoying. Every night from, like, 9, 7 p.m. to, like, 10 p.m., it's, like, always doing this. It's so annoying. Yeah. Anyways, anyway, yeah. back to 8th Gen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like, I mean, when, like, Seven Gen was announced last year, like, you know, they all did, like, the little talent show thing. Yeah, but this one, they didn't even do the talent show. Because so. they were really rushing for time because they had to do another, you know, live stream, like, right after this at the theater. Yeah. Okay, so this one, this uh, reveal was during the actual show. New Year's New show. Year's show. Yeah. Okay, so this wasn't the, the other one. No, this, but, like, cause that one, other one is, like, 30 minutes after this happened, and then... Okay, we got to clear out. The t- we have to clear out the theater because you know we have all these fans here. Yeah, bring in a new batch of fans because they also sold tickets for the for the, the happy uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. For the Sokaku. Yeah. Okay. So uh, eighth gen. Like, yeah, you talk about eighth gen. Just like uh... first impressions. You got. You guys give your first impressions first. They suck. <laughs> I was already disappointed before they announced it, though. Anyway. <laughs> because there's no Utsunomi Yamirai. Yeah, because there is no Utsunomi Yamirai. From... Yeah. You knew because, like, she already restarted her accounts or something. Instagram account, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, for, me, for me, that was the most disappointing one, too. It's like, there is no Utsunomi Yamirai. <laughs> Uh, that was a shame. But, uh, what can you do? I only cared about thirty-five, and she's not there. Yeah. yeah. What well, one thing I will say though that like um, I I mentioned this on the Discord is like um my impression of I mean M- Matt says that they suck, right? My impression of eighth gen is that they were very amateur, and what I mean by that is that when when uh and you can probably uh listen back to our hot takes when 7th gen was revealed is that with 7th gen a lot of them feel polished in that they started with like you know uh experience in the industry like even even like you know whatever chica idol experience or whatever ip used to do but but still right like they were kind of used to standing in front of people but 8th gen doesn't have that at all 8th gen like there's like maybe one I mean, that doesn't even count, I think. Yeah. There's, like, one that looks, like, not completely terrified yeah. to be on stage. Yeah, but all of them, all of even them as, feel, all like, of them give off the, like, the Kohona vibe, right? Like, you know, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I'm here. It's the, it's the, <laughs> it's when, like, your parents make you sing in front of the, like, your family or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's that kind of feeling. 
Yeah. Which, you know, could be good or could be bad. I don't know. But, like, it feel it felt like, you know, management was going for that. Like, you know, we're, we, we want, like, amateurs. And, yeah. So, if you watch the talent show, you will know that, like, you know, none of them have, like, any skill whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 what was the term uh, Arkansas um, came up with? Like, uh, close enough. Good enough. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> you tried. Give, like, the you tried star. Yeah. <laughs> Gold star. Yeah. Hey, was there anyone, like, really impressed? Uh, did, did you, were you impressed by anything uh, in the talent show, Jeff? Like, the, the gymnastics one, I guess. Yeah. But even oh, yeah, the even the gymnastics I'm, one, I'm, I'm biased for her already. But even the gymnastics one, like Anju was much better. Yeah, I mean, Anju was like national champion. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we found that out like we, uh, when she showed up on TV recently. But no, she said it before. Actually. Oh, did she? I didn't know that. Mm. Yeah, she was apparently like you know trying out for the Olympic team or something crazy like that. And she, well, she didn't make it, but, you know, at least she was trying out for it. But, yeah, what, 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 what else did you notice, Matt? Um, in terms of talents or just members in general? Well, like, in general. Uh, I think the, the two that definitely caught my eye, I'm going to get into this, are definitely, uh, Takashi Sai, so the center. 95. Of this, Yeah. I guess ninety five. Forty ten number. Forty ten chan, yeah. Yeah. Or Saibi, I think is what people call it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think that's a pretty good nickname. Yeah. Uh and then uh Yamoto Hikarun. Not just because of the Yamoto legacy. It's because you're a lolicon. No. Yeah. Pikarun. Yeah. Yeah, Pikarun is her nickname. It's like solid. Oh, she looks cute. She has like the Yahagi look, but then you, you see her in action yeah. it's like not quite she kind of has like the the kato like bunny tooth look i mean i think she looks like a child it's not it's not even like you know with misaki or something like that right like uh, yeah. i mean she's mature i guess but like with uh with this girl like yamamoto hikaru like she's like yeah she looks like a child like there's the other yeah. one the other one there's yeah. one other yeah. girl younger that than her talks right? like a ch- yeah, yeah. Sakura, Kuroshima, Kuroshima Sakura. Sakura. And she doesn't look that talk. young compared to compared to like Pikachu. Karun, yeah. Yeah. But she can barely talk whereas Pikachu can talk a bit better. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing though. Like uh, w- one thing I noticed with 8th gen is like none of them are talkers. Like with 7th gen like you know the impression was like wow they're all talkers. Yeah. Mm. Like you know when um I actually because I uh, someone mentioned it on Discord recently about uh the 7th gen uh reveal so I I rewatched the 7th gen reveal. Like IP was like talking like you know doing like uh bantering with the senpai like on her first day. Yeah. Mm. And that's probably may have been because she was like a huge you know Sayaka Oshi or whatever. Yeah. I mean even Misaki talk a lot at that time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In English, <laughs> in English yeah. yeah. But seven gen, seven gen was like yeah. so so different. Like they 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 were kind of you know quote unquote used to it, right? Like so, they they could talk. Like even the the first Y N N. Like you remember the Y N N thing that they did? Like that was like uh that was very impressive for me. It's like yeah. uh seven gen could could talk. Compared to like you know eighth gen, like they were all like you know really really afraid. Well, they they just announced the YNN stream for them, right? For eighth gen, gen, yeah, yeah. What next week? No, or two weeks from 21st now. First, two weeks from now. Twenty third, I think. Something like that. Oh, yeah. But they need more time. <laughs> Seventh gen did it the day after their reveal, I think. Yeah. Well, like seventh gen was like because of uh. They they were delayed. They were already delayed by like three months oh, yeah. or something. Yeah, so they kind of had to catch up. Yeah, and then go and do like tenth anniversary like one month later. Yeah. <laughs> so they kind of got pushed into the deep end. Yeah, right away. Yeah, well, you know, fire forges steel or something, whatever that yeah. means. Uh yeah. In terms of like good, 
That's what I noticed. So it's uh, Sae and... Sae Ikaru. and Yamoto. Yeah. What about you, Aroda? Uh, I actually kind of like Takahashi Sae and then because of... She, she can play badminton, so I'm interested to talk with her about badminton on upcoming Hanasikai. <laughs> <laughs> and also, seems... she said that she likes game also, so... Yeah, that's also why yeah. I liked her too. I, I I don't know, man. It's gonna be like Fuwa and like. <laughs> yeah, that's why I want to try Hanasikai with her to to see her knowledge about games. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna talk about Koya Code or whatever, right? And I'll be disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> PUBG, PUBG. Well, uh, we'll see. Like, it's, she said, uh, like on a uh, side, like her profile. So it says like, uh, you know, interest, you know, hobby, game, and then also Tokui, like her specialty is also game. Mm. Like I mean, Fuwa had the same thing also, so that's like that's why she has my interest. Whereas anyone who just puts game as an interest, yeah. okay, you you get my you get my attention. Uh-huh. You have game in your like specialty. You got my. Uh, I think you got interest. that. Uh, you got that other way backwards around. or backwards. Along you got, you got my attention. <laughs> you got my interest, and then if it's specialty, it's you got my attention. Yeah. Only it's, it's along with uh, English and orange chicken. Yeah. Yeah, or like oh, some other stuff. Like I don't know, like even even with Fuwa, like it, uh, like I mean, I, she probably does play games, but like it always feels fake. It's like it seems, yeah, she doesn't really talk about quite as much. She's more into K-pop these days, yeah, than gaming stuff. But she yeah. used to yeah. play yeah. Smash Bros. Getting my attention. Yeah, Smash Bros. Yeah. And then like uh, I mean, even like Amimaru back in the day, also like she was into games, also. Yeah. One of my like, I went and got a handshake event with her just because. She plays Smash Brothers. Yeah, I mean, she actually played as Marth. <laughs> also the next one I kinda like Sakura the Ayaka Ayap Ayapion. Uh yeah. yeah. I, I was actually impressed with her in the in the talent. The show. Okayama girl because from yeah. her her profile she kinda a whip likes an anime games and manga so yeah because of that. And also she's quite pretty as well. Yeah. What about you, Jeff? You, you like the Kyoto girl? Yeah. I mean, so overall impressions first. A mm-hmm. lot of people have said, like, I've seen a lot of Matome posts that this, like, this 8th gens are really pretty, really cute. Like, mm-hmm. so in looks overall, they're, like, probably yeah. the highest new generation that NB has gotten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Overall, I would agree, kind of. Are they, though? I mean, there's 7th t- gen's pretty good. I think 7th gen is better, though, in terms of look. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I mean, I agree. From, I, I agree from, in general. From, in general, from day one, yeah. I don't know. It's pretty high for day one. That's true. That's true. It's pretty high from day one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was impressed by a couple of them, like uh, looks wise. Yeah. So yeah, Kyoto girl, just from the picture, like she looks mm-hmm. super mature and. She, she's uh, actually the one Mats, I, I like no, the least. <laughs> Mats no Mio. Yeah, like she's uh, too old. No, no, looks wise, like she's she's like she 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 has the look that I don't really like very much. She looks like Coco Chan to me, See, but I, she's I, from I really, Kyoto, though. Really That's like a problem. Yeah. <laughs> not, <laughs> not for Jeff. Not for Jeff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you look at my Oshi history, <laughs> Jeff, That's big uh, Yuria fan, <laughs> <laughs> and Anon. <laughs> 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 and Mizokawa Mirai. <laughs> yeah. But, I think Mizokawa Mirai is the only, like, uh, Kyoto girl I liked. But, uh... I don't know, like, she looks super mature in the photo, but then, like, in the videos, like, when she talks and stuff, she looks a lot younger. So it's kind of... I mean, other than the looks, I'd... Like, she, she, her talent was, like, playing Electone, and it was not that impressed. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's it's like, not, oh, not you, 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 studied, you studied piano for, like, a year in I the mean, fifth grade. <laughs> like, she said she composes music, but she all, always does it on the computer, so she has never, like, sung and played at the same time. So I'll give her that. Mm. But, like, it wasn't, like, Natsu level <laughs> or yeah. anything. Yeah, she said like she made that song like in fifteen minutes, right? So yeah, give her some I mean, more time. I mean, she's not gonna, she's not Mozart or whatever. <laughs> but she's she's she is better than Akipi though. Akipi <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't write music. So. Yeah, 
He writes lyrics. Uh, but my actual pick is... Oh, uh, so it's, uh, she wasn't your pick. I thought she was. No, okay. I've been talking about the other ones for this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Tatsumoto Yayoi. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry. I, I get, I get the like the mature looking girls like confused. Well, okay. She has a boomer name. Well, I mean, yeah. So she has the super like boomer name. <laughs> yeah. Well, the name is kind. Of, the the surname is really badass though. So yeah, Tatsumoto, as the yeah. dragon, dragon base. Yeah. But she, I mean, like she looks kind of mature in her picture. But she's only sixteen. Yeah. Like in like when you see her on stream, she looks much younger. Um, but yeah, and like people in the reveal or in the talent show stream, people were commenting, "Oh, she looks like Nanaho." And like, okay, yeah, I see, kind of. Uh, so yeah, you can guess why I like her. Uh, and then just coincidentally, she's from Hyogo, and her talent is rhythmic gymnastics and from the seventh gen reveal anju was like my initial pick so oh, no. <laughs> she's only become the next theater golden <laughs> well you know you know my tastes i never picked the mainstream popular ones maybe you should <laughs> no stan talent <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I didn't really follow showroom auditions that much, and I don't really, re- I never really jump in the new gens. I, but I know seventh gens, like, much, I follow them much more closely than I have any other kinky say, just because being on the Discord and everyone's constantly talking about them. Mm. So I, it's s- just me yelling about <laughs> Misaki every two seconds. <laughs> but do you like the new Misaki? Oh no! Please. Who? <laughs> Who? The other Misaki. There, there's, there's another Misaki. <laughs> you, oh, you don't know this? We've been joking. No, I do know. I do know. I'm joking. She has the same kanji as. Yeah, it, it's just, it's, it's so weird too. Like, it's not a common way to write Misaki. Like Misaki, like you know the Misaki kanji. It's not a common way to write Misaki. But now we have two girls with the exact same one. <laughs> and there was like some little like drama or like some weird thing, some weird comment. Oh, I mean, I think, like, fans were, like, you know, I mean, I don't know if this is drama or not, but, like, they were joking with Misaki about how the other Misakis... Oh, wait, no, it's not, it's not, it's not fans, it was other 7 gens. Okay, other 7 gens. they said, we're saying that... 8th gen Misaki is prettier than 7th gen Misaki. It's just, they're friends, they're giving each other shit. Yeah. Yeah, but then, um, do note, though, that uh, as fans, you should not say that. Yeah. yeah, because you are not friends with them. I think I'm pretty sure Misaki won't be happy if you say that. Yeah. Either one. Either one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, mm. I I know where you're looking at. Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> well, I'm gonna say like, you know, uh, 45 should like, Utsunomi and Mirai should be here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the the Asuka region. Uh, Mako. Yeah, I mean she's yeah. really pretty, and like she has, you know, uh, she can only improve. That's what I'm gonna say. She doesn't seem like particularly good at talking. Yeah. But she's I know I don't know. She says she's athletic. Well, she says she's like she's into baseball and like her talent was pitching. Yes. She yeah. can she pitch well. The... I mean it's not her bad form. actually. Like her, her yeah. form. Her form in pitching. I mean, I don't think she's a good pitcher or anything like that. Yeah, but her form is good. She's no but her form she's is no good. Uh, Masahi, she's no Masahiro Tanaka. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Like Masahiro Tanaka makes like twenty five million dollars a year. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I. It's a dumb quote unquote skill to have. Like, who cares, right? If you have good pitching form, he cares. But, yeah, I, I, I look for. I, I, I think, I think he's gonna be interesting. Uh, she likes baseball. 
it'll be useful like whenever like they go back to like you know throwing shit into the crowd she's gonna be like <laughs> she's gonna throw it at the, at the back <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna hit like the fire escape sign. Yeah, <laughs> hit a camera. <laughs> <laughs> like we're watching the the stream. It's like, just, it's just like, like crashes. Keychain like a boom. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I mean she's getting a lot of attention just because of her looks, though. So yeah. it's so. I mean, and as you, as you know, it's the idol industry, so you can go you can go very very far with just your looks. But we don't know yet, right? Like but I've been posting everywhere. Oh, it's it's Oscar's sister, Oscar's sister, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> tricking some people and triggering some people. So you know, yeah, getting attention. Like I think if you know if she starts like doing magazine covers, I think she might actually actually like you know catfish some. Uh, like you know, Sakamichi fans and things. Oh, it's a uh, it's Asuka. Uh, yeah, it's like Asuka. <laughs> so, so, she, so it'll actually but work. But it's the and they get really confused. It'll actually work when you put the NMB magazine over the yeah <laughs> Sakamichi. <laughs> actually, yeah, then I'll be confused. Like, wait, is this Sakamichi? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I I I mean, I, I don't really follow uh, Nogisaka very closely, so I don't really know them very much. But I do know Saito Asuka. And yeah, no, I mean, the, the only reason, like, you know, uh, this girl, uh, Sakashi Namako, is getting a lot of attention is because, like, she does look like uh, Saito Asuka. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Like, you, you don't know how these girls, like, grow up, right? She's 16, so she has, like, some growing up to do. It could be positive, it could be negative. We don't know. Hopefully, it's positive. Most yeah. for the most part, if if you watch like you know the seventh gen reveal, like a lot of them like changed <laughs> for the better. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them look really weird at the at yeah. first. Yeah, Misaki looks even more kiddie back then. Yeah, Misaki has grown a lot already. Yeah, Zion looked really weird when she she was revealed. Mighty also. Yeah. So they they will they will only get better, and if it's as Jeff said, right? Like eighth gen already looks like you know. Uh, they're all like really pretty already, so, uh, they have a lot of potential. I think like there's a lot of there's a lot of them that I think have a lot of potential for like you know, uh, the face, <laughs> the face wise. <laughs> I think uh, uh, Ike Honoka uh is pretty too. Uh, she got a lot of attention in uh, Osaka Joe Hall because uh, she was 66. And I think, like, the camera showed her, right? And people, like, uh, were v- became very interested in her. Uh, and then, uh, like, uh, Sakura Ayaka, uh, like, as Aruda said, I think she's pretty too. And uh, I think uh, Yukino, Tanaka Yukino, is pretty, pretty as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so those are my picks. I guess I mean, like uh, Takashima Sai S I B is like you know the the easy mode choice. I think she's gonna be pushed like really hard. Yeah, I mean she's yeah, already yeah, already. <laughs> yeah, she's already center, and then she they made her. Like, they have her do all the speeches. Yeah, and yeah, the speeches also kind of leader of again. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, it might have been because they have um, like a two week final round selection period. Yeah. As part of audition. And it, maybe she kind of took a leadership role there already. So management likes that. Yeah. Mm. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Like, you know, it's never it's never who you think it is, right? Like, yeah. Fifth gen center was uh, Suzu. <laughs> <laughs> Sixth. Sixth gen se- who was sixth gen center? I don't was remember. Rinachi? I, I, no, no, I don't think it was Rinachi. Was that Horimomo? No. Oh, was it Horimomo? Maybe it was Horimomo. Maybe it was Horimomo. I don't remember. Well, it wasn't the ones who were left. Yeah, it wasn't the ones who were <laughs> left. Yes. And then uh, definitely not Karen. Uh, <laughs> seventh gen D three center was uh, Riona. No, no, it wasn't Riona. It was Rihanna. Who was D3 Center? I don't remember. Kato? No, no, it wasn't Kato. Maybe it was Mikana. I don't know. 
and then like you know seven gen center was mighty right so i mean i guess mighty because she's the first one in senbatsu now you can say like oh okay so she she got pushed we'll see we'll see how i'm pretty sure like you know if, if they start selling uh handshake uh tickets for these girls like uh sai will probably be the best seller mm, yeah. just because of the showroom So that and it's 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 no balls, right? Like you know, it's the because management treats her as special, then fans like uh, think she's special, and then they start buying her handshake tickets. Yeah, and then management sees her handshake ticket sales, and we like, oh, see, she sells well. Prospects. Yeah, it's yeah, it is right. <laughs> It's not. It's not a gory push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it was. It's astroturfed, and then <laughs> it becomes real grass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like uh, Ayan started the same way because uh, management like treat, treated her as special, and then fans like started believing it. So I think like with Sai, it's gonna be the same. Like obviously, like you know, you, you, these things don't, don't always work out. Like look at like Joy Rico. Both times. Both times, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, some of these girls would be like, you know, would kill for like the career that Joy Rico had. But yeah, there was, there should have been more there. But yeah. So I think I'll mention the one thing, the one issue I have mm-hmm. from the talent show of a certain member's talent. <laughs> Uh, Ami in her super <laughs> ah, the bubby go. super racist well, okay. sounding speech. I don't think she did. She say it? so in the profile. It's written her... bobby go, which is like this uh, word game where you like repeat the syllable that you said, but then like change it to ba or b or whatever. So it's kind of like say pig Latin in English or like some other. The, every language I'm sure has these kinds of word games. But like it says like using Bobby goal and sounding like a foreigner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know I don't remember if she said like the foreigner thing, but like whoever decided to write it that way, that's racist. Yeah. Guy Coco Jinfu Bobby Goal or something. Yeah. 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 It's like when I heard and when I heard him, I go shh oh my god this is annoying to hear <laughs> so that was upsetting and like like that was like the talent she decided to give to show off because I guess her other I mean she also had piano which I mean that was already done that day and then her other option was a uh, USJ cast member <laughs> no no it was Disney I think she's Disney <laughs> no it says USJ here oh does, does it say but, but I think in the, in the death documentary she like did Disney yeah so, in the documentary it was Disney maybe they did, sh- like Space Mountain maybe the staff discussed it and they said, oh, you should do USJ because we're in Osaka. It's all brand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I've never been to USJ. <laughs> but I think, Osaka. I think the reason she didn't do the USJ one is because like IP did it last time. Yeah. Yeah. And if I she's mean, not yeah, as Anju good as... Did I... The... I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. But, I mean, but Anju did the gymnastics thing. Also. Yeah, but that's impressive no matter what. And they did different routines. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. So, but yeah, it, but you're also right. Yeah, like her her impression impression is not as good as IP's. Like you, you saw it in the documentary, right? The Disney one's not like what? Okay, you tr- yeah, it's like you tried. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the eighty gen the, model. The meme. Yeah. Close enough. Close enough, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah I mean, I don't know. I, I think Matt, you you harp on it too much. It's not a big deal. And it's we'll it's not even racist towards Americans, and usually like Americans get really upset when people are racist towards Americans. But this is not even <laughs> against Americans. The it's other foreigners. Yeah, I think mean, it's like going for like I don't know. I think this shit was going for like South Asian. No, I mean we're we're all from the same country called Gaikoku. Yeah, yeah. and we all speak the same language, <laughs> English. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I don't think it's a big deal. It was just, it was just unfortunate. Like that gave a really bad first impression for me. Really? Yeah. I actually like this girl, uh, Ami, because of showroom. Because she was like the, I mean, even in showroom, like she, she looked like deer in the headlights, and she was one of those girls who, 
uh, always wanted to be an idol. I think she applied to NMB like two or three times. So I'm kind of happy for her that she finally got in. So we'll see. We'll see how it yeah. goes. Yeah, we'll see. See how it goes. Um, especially when we get into uh, the next piece, the next topic, which is the team shuffle. Oh, fuck the team shuffle. <laughs> so this we knew about because um, they did like this weird like Zoom call on YouTube back in December, and like at the end of that, they announced, "Oh yeah, we're doing a shuffle, team shuffle, on January first. So it, they did it, and what they did is they got rid of the old non-battle teams, and they brought back the old NMB2 teams uh, with a twist, I guess. So Team N got announced, and uh, we're not going to go through like each member individually. We'll just like mention like yeah, the captain and vice captains. So you have Captain Sadharu with Vice Captain Mighty. We already mentioned that earlier. Which, I think, yeah, I think those are solid choices for captains, like, you know. Said Haru proved her her worth like through like Leopage and then uh, you know Mighty, you know, de facto seventh gen captain. Um uh, that. And then Team M, this is where stuff gets weird. Uh Captain is Harakaren <laughs> and uh Vice Captain Wakapon. And uh that kind of felt like uh this kind of feels like a like when we saw Har- Harakaren get captain, like, what the fuck? Everyone was kinda shocked. She was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked. Yeah, she was shocked, yeah. There's like a just screenshot of her <laughs> of her freaking out. Um But I think when we saw Walker Poland's Vice Captain, Vice Captain, I'm like, oh, okay. I feel like this is gonna be like a uh, George W. Bush and Dick Cheney kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> is Walker Poland gonna I, I, I mean yeah, it's better for Walker Poland to be vice captain just as in her Waka sporting Waka. miracle in frontier. I'm I'm gonna say it, Jeff. Like, uh, Wakapon's gonna commit uh, war crimes. <laughs> I mean, she is the brains behind her. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why that's the why I'm like alluding to that. I I think so, I think Emma would be interesting uh, because they they did like all the variety characters and, and plus Kokona for some reason, but now we know why. Well, yeah. yeah, but plus uh, plus uh, Amiru is also gonna be in here. Yeah, uh, it's kind of as an honorary. Yeah. Similar to like Ami Maru. Yeah. Just like you know, just well, they, they just, in, just stand in there, there, stand there and chill until you leave. Yeah. Uh but like uh yeah, I think Wakapon's role is I mean, I feel bad for Wakapon. Her role should be like basically to be the straight man to everyone's like bokeh. Yeah. So good luck to her. Yeah. Well, she already has experience one year in Frontier. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And then there's uh, B2, and this is where things get really weird. Uh, so, mm-hmm. B2 is now the, the Kinkusei team. There's no longer a separate Kinkusei team, so... Which means uh, 7th Gen and 8th Gen, plus Sion, are all in this team. Uh, we should also mention that uh, Watamu she got promoted to, to full foot, full M. member yeah. status. I mean to team in. <laughs> I mean usually usually like promotions would get like a uh, like a section in this podcast and we talk about like oh you know she did well promotion blah 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 but now there's like so much news it's like yeah by the way she got promoted. Yeah. Yeah. And it was and it was and like, the fact that it's more like the fact that she, I mean it was just because of her it's other than her performance. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's up there in age. Like, okay, I, like she got she got perform, promoted sooner, I guess. Yeah. Um. But when they announced, like, okay, all the King Q says get in, get on Team B two. Yeah. You could definitely see like the expressions like on all the seven gens. No, faces, I mean, like, actually, when they were calling Team M, I think like the the King Q says like uh, got the idea, realized what, realize what was happening. Because like, holy shit, what's going on? Yeah. 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 IP already crying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, IP always cries, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. She's just... Hottest mess, right? Did she win yeah. Hottest mess? No, no. Suchan did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next year, IP's gonna be Hottest mess. This, this year. Yeah. She'll... On- ongoing Hottest mess. <laughs> yeah. But I, I would be happy, uh, though. Yeah. I would ha- I would be happy if, like, IP was Hottest mess, because that would mean it would be just go back to being a, a joke category. 
<laughs> Instead of like a, a serious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, as we said, as we said like as like the it's, uh, team ends getting announced, uh, you know, Simjin started realizing what was going on. And like, oh, what the fuck? And then when they said, oh yeah, all B, all set, all Kinky saves are in B two. And then they had them all come up one by one. I guess as just as like a, a gesture. Yeah. It seems super pointless because there's like no tension. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see like some of the members' faces aren't that happy when they're on stage. You know, Misaki and Yunnan especially. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Bua, I think. Was, yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, a lot of them had had like you know dead expressions. Yeah. Yeah, and then Adrian came on behind them, and then yeah. Uh, IP gave a speech on behalf of B2, and then the yeah, SI gave, also gave a speech for them. Yeah. I mean, they did, they, I mean, you know what the dumb thing, too, is like, you know, B2 is a team, but they don't have a captain. Like, what? Yeah, no captain, yeah. no vice captain. Yeah. It's like, what? what's the point, then? It seems like uh, yeah, IP and maybe Sion might be, like, those the, roles. Because I think they also has, had Sion. Yeah, because Sion is the oldest in this team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, I think I think like IP is not the official captain, but they are positioning her as the leader of uh, Team Gang You Say. Mm. Because you know they Prob- made her they made her give the speech. They'll probably like <clears throat> see how the rehearsals go and who takes leadership, and then like announce it at the Shonichi or something. Maybe. Yeah. You know what would suck, though, is that, like, you know, 8th gents have to get in, right? So some 7th gents, quote-unquote, Misaki, uh, <laughs> will have to be dropped. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how ma- We don't know how many members will perform in the next theater shows. That's true. Like, yeah. with Omicron. Because these aren't, these aren't full 16-member teams, either. It's, it's 13, 14, and I don't know how many B2 is. 23, I think. Yeah. Like, it's probably gonna be close to, like, 12, maybe, I think. 10, yeah. 12, really? Uh, I think I think they like the idea of, like, seven-member stages, though. I mean, yeah, definitely, both like, Corona and everything. Yeah. yeah, and then they don't have to pay them as much. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, I, I think seven is possible. Like, I mean, they're... Well, Non-Metal's eight, so, yeah. Okay, so eight, yeah. So, maybe eight, seven or eight. Because, like, you know, with Team N, for example, like, Nagisa's never going to be there. So she's, yeah, she's going to be there for through. Shonichi, and then that's it. Yeah, like, when we saw, like, the, the announcement of, like, the Team N members online, I, I think I said, like, yeah, like, half of these teams, all half of these members are going to be gone, like, in a year. Yeah. Just because. Yeah. Like, it, it's a bunch of boomers. It's stupid, though. Like, in 2019, they tried the boomer team strategy, right? And then... Like everyone Best fucked off. Ever, if you're Jeff, <laughs> everyone fucked off. So what? What makes them think that it won't be the same this time? And then yeah, you'll get like, okay, potential. Like, who are the aces of uh, or the centers of Team N? I mean, it's Nagisa, so, like, right? Kana, I think it's gonna be Anon. I mean, from from management's perspective. Uh... Like obviously, uh, definitely, I think Shonichi Center is gonna be Nagisa. Yeah, but he's gonna be rarely in there. Uh, I don't know. Like they, everyone knows she won't be there. So it's like, yeah. Then, and then like, she, whoever... she does it once, and then someone subs for her. So then they can rotate Anon and Mikana without like declaring that they're the center. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's just the half-ass stuff that I think Sadharu. I think like it's gonna be like Anon or Sadharu to sub to Nagisa. I don't. Know, I think they're preparing me kind of like maybe they're gonna let <laughs> like release her from parole. <laughs> <laughs> but Wakapon's not there. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, do you think? Do you think Mikana? They're they're prepping her to be center. Like I have, like, I, like I think the dumbest thing they could do would be like you know wanting to push uh, Anon here because I I like see nothing from Anon. Like there's nothing. Ob- she definitely seems like one is like you know in danger members from graduation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Management kind of likes Anon, but like she hasn't really shown a lot. Yeah, Anon 
like she enjoys <clears throat> she really enjoys performing but then she doesn't express her like goals and stuff very well yeah um yeah then that's why i can't really see strong center candidates besides mikana and anon yeah i i, I i'm 100 percent sure it's gonna be nagisa and then like uh like mikana is only gonna be like backup center or something and she's not even gonna sub for nagisa Like I, I'm pretty sure, like Sadharu or like Mighty or someone is gonna be the one who subs for Nagisa. But like you know, Megana could be like uh, positioned as like the next center of N. When Nagisa leaves, yeah. Or when like when I have some of the other members leave. <laughs> Because look, like, look at these members who are like who are members who are like you. Know, I mean, Kotone already announced. Kotone already is already gone. You know, Mew might leave. You know, uh, you know, Hasa, Mion, Hasa, Yumi, Yumi, yeah, should should. <laughs> yeah, really. Like I even mean, Uka, Uka, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like it's like too stacked with too many like older gen members. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and there's nothing. I, I don't know. I, I wish they didn't just they didn't do that like boomer team and variety yeah. team because yeah we're gonna have like the same problem. Yeah. Like with, and then you look at M. Yeah, it's a bit more. I don't want to say it's more balanced, but it's. I mean, it's it, you have more options. I think more. It's, like, it's I mean, younger. It's younger. Uh, I mean, obviously you have Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray is gonna Mickey. be the center, obviously. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah. Not Coconut. Yeah. You have Ray Coconut. Yeah. And Mickey is gonna Coconut be absent. Be. Whole, like, <laughs> awesome, yeah. most of hey, performance. Yeah, and then you have Gato, right? Like as backup. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I think I think the balance is weird. I think the balance is weird. Like N N has the boomer members, but like you know half of them probably have like a foot out of the door as well. Yeah. Like even Shin Shin, right? Like she's she's like twenty two now. Twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Oh my god. Twenty three. See. Yeah. Even worse, right? So I mean, she, she's not in university, and she's back in Senbatsu. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think she's gonna stay, but like, you never know. Like with the age, I Mew Mew was was gonna I like, graduate from university already graduated. I think she was she was yeah, starting she, work. Yeah, she already. Yeah. Used to. So she has like no obligation really. Yeah, nothing. This this is literally her. <laughs> this is her career. Her post her post postgraduate life. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll let's let's see what's gonna happen. But yeah, I I think it's yeah. I think I think I think it does say though that like uh with Team N that they they still have hope for Mikana. Yeah, definitely. Because because of how they stacked it, it's just so weird, right? Like they could put like you know someone like Kato or or Reiko, uh, not Reiko, <laughs> like you know someone who could be center. I, would, like, uh, I <laughs> wish they could trade like Kato and Uka, so Chihi has another res- responsible. No, so you can have your danceable team. Yes. No. <laughs> I mean, you have you have Wakapon. Like they're they're clearly they're clearly uh like setting Wakapon up as like you know. Yeah, I mean, senp- I mean, yeah. senpai, senpai. Yeah. senpai, as in, mm-hmm. like, responsible person. So, Chihi only needs to support Wakapon. <clears throat> yeah. And Karen, for some reason. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be, like, so stupid. Like, Team M is gonna have, like, you know, the Shonichi, right? And then they're gonna do, like, the... The pose, and they're gonna do piro piro instead of like the M pose. <laughs> oh, no, please, <laughs> don't piro piro. <laughs> That's the, I mean, say what you love about Karen, like you know, she is like you know a hard worker and dedicated to this. So yeah, I mean, you know what? Yeah. Like we we treat Karen as a joke, but I, I it's possible that she does well. I mean, I mean, she has a lot in common, like with like you know Sad Haru, really, like both very responsible and hard workers. Yeah. I mean, Sadharu is also a joke, at least for us within Discord. <laughs> We're the only ones who treat Sadharu as a joke, though. So. <laughs> yeah. Karen is I more mean, of a joke than like a lot. I saw a lot of comments on like Matome and stuff, how Karen brings us back to like the old 
like Ponkotsu or like Ditsy team uh, Ditsy captain. captains. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like Yamada Nana and like uh, Shimada Rena. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I, I I never considered that. Yeah. But like the team N captain. So are they saying like Sadharu is Sayaka? Or Chihi. <laughs> 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 So why aren't you a team in uh, fan then, Jeff? Yeah. I follow Chihi wherever she is now. I I, I, I I'm not living. Was... I don't live in the past. <laughs> I, I kind of like the first like when you saw like, the announcement of team in. You're like team in sucks. <laughs> <laughs> when I said that as soon as they skipped over Chihi to Koji, yeah. I'm like fuck team in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a fan of Kawakami Team N, and also the Yamamoto Team N that Mocha was on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah, B two. Yeah, we talked about it. It's like a little weird now. Like how B two, how it's gonna work? Because it's all King Kyuuse. So I wonder, like, you know, when these members do get promoted, are they just gonna be transferring them to the other teams? I they haven't really said yeah, the details on so it, but weird. that seems like that makes sense to me. I think, yeah, we are clearly breaking from like past tradition with this. Yeah. I think there, yeah, there's enough members to do that. Um, Especially because we're going to be losing some members. Yeah. In, in, yeah. in an M. Like, and then, like, how many they promote and when they do the first promotion. I don't know. Yeah. I think so much is uncertain now because of COVID. Yeah. Like even how many, like eight eight is the minimum they'll do for a theater show. Maybe they want to do more given the size of these teams. Yeah, I but I think like, like with 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 the with the new wave right with the sixth wave, uh, we don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, we just saw news SKE theater closed down because they had two members get corona. Yep. Even like when NMB, like when members do get Corona, like they haven't closed down the theater yet, but but maybe they go back to like you know half half capacity theater seats, making it even harder for Jeff to not win. They're not gonna do that unless the government says forces them because they well, need I mean, they need Shimura's they talking. need cash. <laughs> I mean that's why they increase the prices of the tickets. Yeah, <laughs> which I actually, I'm curious about Team B two because normally B two like you pay normal ticket price. But because it's Kinkyusei, it's 500 yen cheaper. So I wonder like, if you yeah, buy Yeah, I mean, it's Kinkyusei. It, like, as long as yeah. the words Kinkyusei are in it, then that's what matters. The, they'll charge less. Yeah. They, I think they ch- they char- they're going to charge like 1,000 yen less, right? Just for this show. Uh, right now, it's like in the old current system, whatever, it's 500 less. Oh, okay. Like it's 35 for Kinkyusei, for Will Be Idol, and then it's 39, 40, uh. whatever. Jesus Before they change, Christ, increase so price, so fucking expensive. Yeah, uh, a show now it's four thousand yen and forty four ninety. Yeah. Um, do we want to like predict the set list? Are they going to bring back old set lists? I no, hope, I they're hope they're they're, hope they're gonna do they're gonna do they're gonna do like Nam battle bullshit. Where right? it's like you know a different. Uh, they're they're never gonna new, go back to the old ones. I think they're not gonna go back to like. Coco Ten or Reset. Well, maybe or... Coco Ten. Like I think, I think Rain you know I, what? Kishi. Okay, I think. I think Coco Ten. I think, yeah. think B two yeah. should do Coco Ten. They have sixteen members. That also depends on whether they actually can do it. Does anyone play the guitar? <laughs> oh, Yuna. Uh, Yuna. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they can do Coco Ten. <laughs> you may know dead body. Yeah. Do they have uh over eighteens? Yeah. yeah, you have a uh, Kohata, Sion, Sion, Kohata. IP, IP, and Anju or Did something, right? Or... Yeah, Anju's an M. Oh shit, IP, Sion, and like, maybe Wakanyan? Kohata. Yeah, I don't Matsunomi. think Wakanyan's eighteen. No Mio. There's a couple of eighth gens that are older. There's like one twenty one year old. Mio. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Masuno Mio. She can, she can do zipper. <laughs> So yeah, you know what? I think I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. I mean, I don't know if they can go back to sixteen members, but if they if they want to differentiate uh, the Kankyusei team and to to make 
to get people excited, they should totally do Coco Ten. Yeah. 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 Because I would want to go watch. Just because it's Coco Ten. And because Zion is there. Yes, well. <laughs> it's gonna be center, so. Oh, <laughs> is, it, is that is that your hot take? I, I think I think I think Sai is gonna be Word. center. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. Yeah, yeah, actually, it might be. Oh, uh, we'll see. I think. Uh, okay, so looking at them, right? I think uh, the the girls who has a shot at center, like Zion, Fua, Sai, Sai. I have no idea. I don't think Wakanyan. I don't think Wakanyan is gonna be center. No. But I mean, she's currently center, but yeah. I, th- I think it's Mo- I think it's those you, three. You want Mochan, but that's not going to happen. She's not. She's not yeah, she's I mean, not there's a chance yeah. she doesn't even make Shonichi. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's between those three, or maybe Sion, like a wild card. Yeah. But yeah, Kokoten B two Kokoten. Let's do it. It's gonna be amazing. And then, okay, then for N and M. N is gonna do N Pride just to. N Pride, like, yeah. yeah. No. Stick, it, okay, stick it to Jeff. No. Stick it to Jeff. They're gonna do no. N Pride. No. <laughs> I actually wouldn't. They can make up their I own. Be opposed they to can make up their because... own new stage. With yes, cool they're gonna make up. They're, they're gonna make up on their own new stage, but they're gonna call it N Pride. N Pride, yeah. No. <laughs> N Pride Plus. is always N Pride. <laughs> no. They can call it like. S- sad, sad N or something. <laughs> sad Haru Pride. Yeah. Sad Haru in in parentheses Pride. <laughs> and like, uh, yeah, I, I think I, yeah, they should do new stages picked from mostly NMB songs. Yes. I really don't get the obsession with old AKB stages. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I swear to God, if they do Daddy Kano Tamini, I'll be so pissed off because that's such a boring ass. And they list. fucking did Idol No Yoake twice already. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're not gonna go back to. I there's not enough members for one. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they are gonna go back to like the origin, like you know, normal stages. Old, I mean, they have to AKB change up the songs. song formations anyway, even from the songs they pick. Yeah. That's why I think N and M are probably gonna choose, uh, you know, whatever N Pride, M Pride, whatever they want. Maybe do uh, Namba I. Oh my God! Yeah, whatever. Nibame in the door, <laughs> bring it back. Yeah. Or Date 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 Cohen or something. I don't care. Namba Tol Cohen, Namba Tol Two Cohen, Piro yeah. Piro Cohen. Yeah, but like, yeah. I hope, yeah, I hope it's like mostly N and B songs. Yeah, please, please don't be. This boomer shit. It's gonna be like teacher, teacher on Only, a loop. No, it, can be, it, it, can be boomer, <laughs> it can be boomer NMB songs, like Kesho or something. I don't know. Like Waruki. <laughs> Waruki. <laughs> Jesus Christ, please no. <laughs> I mean, at this point, they should just make it part of the part of a sh- uh, set list. They they sing it so much. Yeah. yeah. And Rush can I? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that's like in both set lists. We'll be idle in uh Tebutai. No, you mean Q Mart? Yeah. I think I think all of them are gonna end. Yeah. Like Q Mart, Q Mart, uh maybe so I, I, I kinda iffy on um Tepotai if it's gonna end, but it should end. Because there's no point to it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they keep Q-Mart, because I think that's kind of like... I think mean, q they might keep, just because that's like a weird special thing. I mean, maybe... Even though, you know, the same problem, like, Nigi still will never be around. Yeah. But, I mean, she's been around for a lot of the Q-Mart shows. No, no, it's it actually, I think it works the other way around. Like, they, they find out when she's available, and then they <laughs> schedule the like, q shows on it. Yeah. But she hasn't been in a Qun Mart show apparently since November. I saw it on Twitter. Hmm. Well, was it, was it her birthday? No, no, it's a random show. I think. Well, the mobile show. I think. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's a special win. one. The fan. The family. The family show. I tried to get into. Uh, 
I thought I, thought I was a family member, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, those are new teams. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're starting in February, earliest February, according to Colton A's you know, graduation plan. So, look forward to that, I guess. Um, another thing you can also look forward to, for better or worse, is uh, Nom Battle 2. Here we go again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here we go Not again. Not this bullshit <laughs> no. again. That, that's, the, oh, that's, the, that's the subtitle. Ah oh, shit! Here we go. No again. one likes this. <laughs> no one. Non battle two. True. Non battle two. Static harder. Yeah. Static <laughs> cup harder. More static cups. Yeah. Um, but this one they actually can't give us less info this time, so we don't know anything about it other than like the categories or whatever. Uh, so the categories we have a uh, I, which is a glove. It's gonna be individual voting. We presume it's uh, fan voting, just based on some information we have about the single. Uh, and then there's uh, my, which is like the group dances, group performance. That this one probably be similar to like I guess like the team, the team performances. And then un for luck, which is like individual games, and whether that's like variety games or video games or you know, junkin or whatever. So it's, it's they're mixing up between individual and then team efforts. It's probably multiple prizes, I imagine. Yeah. So I think the thing most people are most upset about though is the the individual voting. Uh, category. Well, we don't know actually what it is, but based but according on to, uh, leaks, according to Sion leaks, according, <laughs> yes, according to Sion Holland, <laughs> um, she said it's gonna be like thank you, like the election. Yeah. Yeah, for twenty seven single. Yeah, for next single, yeah. Whether that means it's it's actually gonna be Simbatsu or it's gonna be you know another, the new Tabu tie, we don't know yet. But, and how, how if it's going to be, you know, opt in or everyone has to do it, we don't know. And we think maybe that may have helped uh, expedite some of these uh, graduation announcements. Yeah, and we, and we know more. the both the regular edition and the theater edition will have voting tickets as the first press bonus. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to fucking suck. We don't... I, I hope I hope it's not Senkyo. Like that's that's the that's the nightmare scenario for me. Is that it's Senkyo. Yeah. Well you're not even gonna vote, are you, Ryan? No. <laughs> so, but you still you think it's a nightmare. <laughs> Cause it's gonna cause so much like stress for even more stress from the members than like a normal numb battle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just a lot of bullshit. Uh, no one's no one's happy about it. Yeah, I don't know, like, cause you know, you see people like, oh, we should, they need to bring back the AKB thank you, you know, cause they want to see the drama. I'm like, fuck, not really. I think it's only like dumb international fans on Twitter that say that. Yeah, no, no one actually likes thank you. Like, you, you yeah, talk to any people, fan, like people, people in Japan, they don't actually like this. Yeah. Like most fans hate Senkyo, so it'll be really weird if yeah, it's gonna be really shitty. Um, yeah, but I haven't really said anything any else about this. Just that's the only thing we know is voting, and yeah, team battles and game battles. Yep. But I imagine probably same some more schedule. I guess I'm gonna start a little later. I guess. Because they haven't said anything about the groups, like if that's going to be like the current N and M groups. Or I haven't, they said they're going to do a new drawing. Oh, I think they hinted at it being like small groups that are not related to the teams. Okay. Well, we don't know. So it's possible like the, the Dantai one, like the group one, is, uh, is just like the current teams. And then... Uh, and then whatever the and, and the the other the other two are individual ones. So I don't think yeah. they're just gonna. I, I I don't think they're gonna have Nam battle teams. Yeah, I, I think it would make no like, sense. Yeah, I think probably the winning team will probably get like a coupling song or something maybe in the next single. Maybe I don't know. I that's the thing though. They haven't talked about like prizes or anything. Yeah, they're all. This is all speculation. Yeah. No, with our luck, with how like these podcast recordings go, we're pro- they'll probably announce everything tomorrow. tomorrow yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably tomorrow. I think. 
I mean, they have five days until the Hanshi or Hanashikai sale starts. Yeah, it'll probably happen soon. Oh, yeah. Anyway, non battle two. Non battle harder. Yeah. Don't don't All right, miss next, it. Uh, let's see. We have a other piece of news here. We're gonna jump in just really quickly. Uh, so NB starts selling NFT trading cards. God damn. Magic are calling them NFTs, and this is really fucked up because fuck NFTs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, fuck NFTs. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it, and I think it's like I don't think they even know what NFTs are. I think if they just call these like digital trading cards, I think no one would have yeah, yeah. issues with. Well, I don't think I don't think they. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you're right though. I don't, I don't think they know they're what just using they're supposed the buzzword. to be. Yeah, they're just using the buzzword NFT because they saw some crypto bro mention it. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, this some, is some guy Yoshimoto is really into crypto, and that's why, and that's. <laughs> Yeah, because if you if you look into the companies behind this, it's like some like startup company doing NFT for like entertainment, and then Yoshimoto has already released like trading card uh, sets with their comedians. So this is just probably an extension of that. Yeah. And then like you, I mean, I don't know. I'm not f- super familiar with. Um, cryptocurrency and nfts and all this but you have to like buy nmb tokens that you can only use with this this like within these nmb trading cards yeah Yeah. and then like i presume the uh the crypto nft part is like proving which serial number of card you have but then, like, the problem is this, the fan base of NMB now is mostly, like, a lot of older people who mm-hmm. aren't very tech-savvy. So I still see, like, I see fans replying to members who are promoting the seals. Like, oh, I want to buy the, the cards, but, like, I have no idea how to pay for it. I mean, <laughs> even now looking at the NFT market inside that site, it's really not really working the current most of the card are sold around 2000 uh, 200 nnb token which is actually cheaper than you buy a random pack wow. <laughs> wow yeah so nobody buys new packs so then it doesn't like generate new revenue for them right it's, it's kind of fucked up <laughs> 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 Yeah, it, like I just feel bad. For, it's like another koi taco. Like management getting into this weird thing with an outside company that didn't really it doesn't really fit well with what NMB is, and it's not selling well. Yeah, and yet they still have force members to promote it, and I just feel bad. Like I played koi taco for a little bit because I feel bad for <laughs> the members who like filmed all this stuff and have to promote it yeah but the nfts is where i draw the line <laughs> but yeah it's fucking stupid <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep yeah speaking of fucking stupid <laughs> uh more members are getting the youtube channels uh, Uka and Koji got YouTube channels. Speaking of fucking stupid. Two danceable <laughs> member. <laughs> yeah, they they already have danceable YouTube channel, but now breaking away. I mean, but they're not doing dance. Yeah, fair enough. But also, like, okay, it's so like Uka's hers is like yoga. Yeah, yoga videos. Which, okay, maybe there's a market there. Um, Koji Dean is like just. Kind of weird well, idea the scene, for so. one, it was like stealth announced because yeah, yeah. <laughs> instead of putting the archive of the eighth gen talent show on the main NMB channel where it was actually streamed, they like privated that one, and everyone was like, "Wait, why? Like, we can't watch it there." And then the next day, <laughs> no, no, like, no, 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 not the next day. Oh, like oh, really? on the, oh, an hour later. An hour, yeah, an hour later. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> she tweets like, "Oh, here's this video on this." Brand new channel. <laughs> oh, by the way, I started YouTube. <laughs> no, the, the the fucked up thing is like she never acknowledged that she started YouTube. Yeah, like, here's the video. Yeah, that's here's the video, and that's it. Yeah, and like some of us found the channel first, and then we thought it was 
like a fan who uploaded a recording of the, yeah. <laughs> the talent show. And it then, even like, had like a contact email. It was like info Kojima Karin at gmail.com. gmail.com. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it seems like super right. Yeah, super it's, sus. It's yeah, I don't know why they're doing oh, that. God. Like for one, if you put the video on the official, it gets way more views. I mean, I don't know. They, they're... I guess it's an idea. It's an idea to stealth stealth launch uh, Kojin's channel. But it's just stupid. Yeah, yeah like, it, it seems completely unnecessary. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's an MB management for you. Completely unnecessary. Yeah. Finding solutions for problems that don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, just super weird. Yeah, that these members are getting like YouTube channels, especially because like you know, I think like you know, these members yeah. might be gone like in a year or two. I mean, they might be able to con- con- continue them after graduation, especially Uka's. Like, cause Uka yeah. actually I mean, did you say she got like a license or whatever. Yeah, she got an instructor she... certification. So like, I mean, this is like a very easy future career to slide into, like becoming a yoga instructor. I mean, yeah, good for her. Cause doesn't like doesn't she and you mean they do like those like paid, like workout videos or whatever yeah, on Fanny with Anon, the dancer from Yoshimoto Zaka. Yeah. On Fanny. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, okay, and then uh, last kind of piece of news here we got is uh. The R1, which is like the Rakugo. No, 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 uh, no, 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 not, not Rakugo. It's some other comedy. It's a, it's a, it's a. You know what the M1 is, right? Which is the yeah, Manzai the competition. Manzai. So yeah. R1 yeah. is uh, like the solo version of M1. It's like a Kanto or no? No, no, no. It's yeah, a, just like stand-up like comedy. It's like stand-up. It's a stand-up. It's a stand-up, stand-up comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Which I mean, in a way, Rakugo is that, but that's more sit-down comedy. <laughs> well, you can do you can do you can do Rakugo in R one. That that's possible. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, but Rakugo is a very specific like traditional yeah. Japanese style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you use a fan and a yeah, and you have to talk about order. like uh, nature or something. Like, there's a specific thing you have to do with. with it's like it's like haiku. You need a seasonal word. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I don't know, but there's a specific requirement in Rakugo that I I don't know because I don't watch it. So yeah, boomer shit. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, for this uh comedy contest for single members, uh, Daguchi Yuina, Wakapon, and IP, uh, entered into that. Yeah. Well, just to, just and, background. Uh, Nagisa yeah. joined this like in 2017. Yeah, and also my tune in the past. Uh, yeah, in Machu in the past. Uh, Nagisa is the furthest that en- anyone from NMB ever got. And she got into the third round, which okay. is one round before the semifinals. Okay. So, like, they just had the first round uh, last night. Like I guess it was the last couple days. But, um, yeah. Of those, uh, Wakapo and IP passed yep. into the second round. So. And what's fucked up though is like uh, Wakapon and Deguchi got uh, on the news, but like IP didn't. So <laughs> poor IP. Well, uh, I mean, they got on the news, but as like you know, I mean, they get on the like so idols join this right, and then it, the reason that they do is just so that they could get on the news. It's like look at look at how you know these crazy like you know uh, these are like. Uh, Huh, what's what's a good example? Like if if like some comedians joined like you know American Idol or something. Okay. Uh, it was like it's a, a joke entry. Or right? like or like, so, or like idols like joining Bob. Sasuke. Or like oh yeah yeah uh, like like, like, like AKB join AKB joining Sasuke or something like that right they're not or gonna like, win uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah Arnold Schwarzenegger becoming governor of... well no that's <laughs> <laughs> hey he was actually pretty good <laughs> well like him and uh, Gary Coleman and then like a few other that like I... that the 2003 2002? yeah 2003 because literally everyone yeah. could run 
Yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> like, like, so, like, the, the point is that, like, you know, these, uh, like, idols joining R1 is, like, uh, as a, you know, just to spice things up to get people talking about R1 so that, you know, they may, some, someone might, you know, some people actually went to go watch, right? So, so yeah. that, you know, you can sell tickets and stuff like that. So they're not really expected to do really well. Uh, but, like, you know, I always want them to do well. I hope I hope Wakapon does does well. I think I think she has the best chance out of everyone. Well, Deguchi already lost, so yeah. Mm. But like you know, I th- I think uh, with Wakapon or IP, I think like uh, Wakapon has the best chance to get to round three. And she said that her goal was to get to the same round that Nagisa did. Yeah. And that's very hard because Ma Chun I think never got to round three. So we'll see. Yeah. Good for them. Good for them that they're trying new things. All right, and then also there is the NB48 uh, Seijin no He show on January 10th. It'll probably have already happened by the time you hear this, or the next day. Uh, the participating members are Wakapon, Koatan, Rei, Deguchi, uh, Hasa, Amirun, and Mikana. These are our people who turned 20 in the last year, or will be turning 20 this year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the coming of age day. Just yeah. to clarify, yeah. Uh, so they, they always do this every year. Uh, like last year's was delayed because of Corona. Um, but it'll be streaming it on Fanny Online for like too much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for two thousand and five hundred. Five hundred yen, yen, yeah, a lot. Yeah. Uh, and also, it's also a theater show, and uh, Ryan is going to be going there in person <laughs> after so many years <laughs> no I mean the last show I went to was like a year last ago year. oh yeah. Okay. yeah so yeah true I mean I didn't really expect to win I thought Matt was gonna apply so I was like okay I'll, I'll apply with you nah I wasn't gonna apply yeah <laughs> I just I just baited you and didn't apply to <laughs> I knew you'd do it <laughs> Because <laughs> Mikana's there, it's the only I think that's probably the main reason why you would do it. Yeah, I mean it's the only reason I I, I would even consider going. Yeah, like if if they announce tomorrow that like oh Mikana's sick and she's not gonna be there, then I just not go. You cancel and take the hit, the karma hit. I mean, he yeah. doesn't care about his karma. Yeah, it doesn't matter until he tries to get into Mikana's Seitansai or is he on Seitansai or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway. I mean. Yeah, I don't like traveling. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's happening. You can watch that if you buy the the fanny ticket. Yeah. Yep. All right, and then uh, last thing we'll talk about for today's show is the the Saint Seiya twenty four hour live stream on Wine In last Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, this is a long day. Um. Actually, they had like a pre-show thing with uh, the crab game, honey game, which is like a parody of Squid Game. It was pretty fun. Actually, I thought that was pretty, it was really good. Yeah, it was pretty it was fun. Really yeah. Good. I thought it was better than 24 Hour Proper. That's my hot take. Just because um, of Fumisaki? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was, I mean, it was, it, was, it was, you know, fun to watch. Um, I'm actually, actually, I am, I am currently working on subtitles for that right now, so it's just it's two fucking hours long. And I cut out 10 minutes of, like, talking. That didn't really matter. And it's still taking, like, a month to do because it's just so, it's so much. Uh, but, yeah, look forward to subtitles for that. You can enjoy that soon. Um, As for 24 Hour, we're not going to go into every little bit, every little corner. We're just talking about the parts we liked the best. So what did y'all like? Well, first of all, the hosts were Sadharu and Yuina. Yeah. <laughs> I think we knew that we didn't know that before. I don't know. No, they announced it only a few days before. Okay, yeah. And so it felt like six gens were pushed a lot in this one. Yeah, like they had like the whole opening singing section and then they had the little like musical at the end. <laughs> it looked super <laughs> rushed. Just talk about that. So the last segment is called Rocky or Rocky. But it's only that, that was just right. five person. That that was fucking awful, by the way. <laughs> it's five members, and it's like this weird, like five, like yeah, five minute long 
Like a British version of Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one. As in the Rocky theme song? Yeah, but like, they sped up. No, the, no, as in the Rocky movie. The movie, yeah. Oh. The, Actually, I think it might be like Rocky 2. Oh, no, no, it was a combination of Rocky 1 and Rocky 2 because people, people confuse it. Because like yeah, Rocky so. loses in Rocky 1, right? But then people don't yeah. remember that. So they think they think he wins, which happens in Rocky too. And I think like so, the yeah. yeah, and he gets was he it, gets uh, together with Adrian and whatever. Yeah, it's like what Reina Reina was Rocky. Yeah, and then uh, Deguchi was Apollo. <laughs> Deguchi was Apollo. <laughs> yeah, she was wearing like, the American. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! And for some reason, Karen was like the referee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. That's the, why I only I caught the very end. That's why Yuina was wearing the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, Shin Shin was Adrian. <laughs> she was. Yeah, sad. Sad Harvey was like the narrator or whatever, or like the announcer, I guess. Yeah, it, it was like super super rushed. Like it wasn't like it. It was not entertaining at all. Like not no, even in the of, train wreck kind of way. It was not just tra- it's just a train wreck. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. Karen randomly did the the countdown in English. Apparently, I guess in rehearsal she did it in Japanese, and then for the live thing she decided to do it in English. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone was really confused by what she was doing, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was funny. Um, yeah. Anyway, back that's the last part. We had back up to I guess whatever parts you guys liked. So no one liked that part, I guess. <laughs> uh, sort of karaoke, I guess. Which I felt that was like a little too long. It went on for like two hours, two hours of karaoke. Yeah, Last because every like... participant got chance to sing two songs, I think. Really? And then they did like a group song at the end, but then they had to rush out Kokona and Fuwa because it was past like nine o'clock or whatever. Or ten o'clock. Yeah, I don't know. They The only highlight for that is a DJ Koo, DJ Kokona. DJ Kokona was like the best thing ever. <laughs> She just she just shows up with a spindle of CDRs and like acts like she's like, like a yeah. history or whatever. DJ Coconut um, in the house. Uh like it's a Star Wars corner. That was good. Yeah, that one's really yeah. funny. It was it was at like two AM. Yeah, it was I, I was already like, asleep. I woke up for that and then I'm like, what the hell's going on? I, I liked it. I, I thought it was yeah, it, I thought it, funny. it was uh it was funny, yeah. They're doing yeah. every episode from five <laughs> from four, five, six and then one, two, three and then seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like it didn't really make sense. They were just like fucking like doing like variety stuff. So, like they did like the 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 junk in hammer shield thing, you know. At first. And then they did like a random question answer stuff. Uh, the funny thing is, like, they're all dressed up as characters. So he had a uh, was it? So it was called Wadakin Skywalker and Ishida's Vader. Yeah, and mm. then you had uh, U- Ubaka. <laughs> um, was it Chi Wan Kenobi? Chi Wan Kenobi. Um, Kawatan D two. Kawatu D two. What was Mighty C three P O? Yeah, Mighty three P O. Mighty Mighty P O. Mighty P O. Yeah. Um, I, I, and then uh, Sion was just a stormtrooper. Yeah. Well, and, I, I and, think the the thing is like they didn't even like go to Donkey and buy like cosplay outfits. Like they 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 made their own. They, and they all looked so awful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the funny the funny thing though about like uh, Koatan is like she couldn't she couldn't ever move. Yeah, because of the mm-hmm. cardboard. Yeah. And she always looks so confused. I think it's because she like being in character of being a robot. Yeah. <laughs> it was just really funny. Like Um I think the best oh, yeah. one was the the Christmas uh party one. Okay, that was like, yeah, the Santa. Yeah. yeah. That was that was like yeah, that was entertaining. That was good except for half of the members not wearing Santa outfits. Yeah, yeah, what was ran, that? What's up with that? They ran out of outfits. And they, they didn't Where is Yon Santa outfit? <laughs> Those yeah. members had to be in the next segment, so they didn't have time yeah. to change. Yeah. But, yeah. And then, like, half the members weren't happy with their presence. <laughs> well, that was the point. 
Yeah, yeah. It was like a w- weird like white elephant exchange thing. Yeah. I mean, Wakapon got <laughs> something cheap from Ray. <laughs> <laughs> When like uh wasn't Mew's present? She gave them Mikana, or no Deguchi? Yeah, no, no one Mew. She gave them Mikana. I think it was like two issues of My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. Yeah, and it was it was like issue one, and issue five, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and issue five because she liked the character on the cover or whatever. Yeah, it was it was it was it was entertaining. It was really entertaining. And I mean, every year, every year, like the Otona time is always like the most entertaining one, anyway. So, it it just uh, continued on from uh, from tradition. I think I think this year's twenty four hours, like there weren't any like you know super boring uh, corners, but there weren't. I, I mean, to be quite honest, there weren't any ones that were like you know, super big hits for me. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, Ch- uh, chaser, chaser. Oh. <laughs> that was just stupid. That was just stupid. <laughs> okay, that was like that was good. Okay, that was good. Black chaser, chaser was running, good. Running around. But like, I mean, it was just them fucking around, right? But uh, so I was trying to think. Last year, last year, I thought like uh, I really liked uh, Re- Remote Sonata. The Tokirimo one. Yeah, the Tokirimo one. That was, I mean, because like I, I like the idea of Tokirimo. It's just really funny. Yeah. Um, so there, there, there wasn't any Tokirimo this year. Uh, what else was good last year? Uh Siri, you, you girl, and Abixa. Oh, the, the, the quiz, the quiz. Actually, <laughs> like the quizzes last year were better. I think the 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 never the Neverland the Neverene, uh, parody Neverene. was really good. Like the the one with the Hinacho. And then, uh, yeah, the Oogle, Oogle, Abexa, all of that was really funny. It was really good, too. This year... That wasn't really a quiz, though. That was, a, that was just, like, them messing around and, like, with... Wasn't it a that quiz? Was like a weird, like... No, it was just them, like, asking questions to EGD about, like... Oh, okay. So, I... I, I, I and then, you know, the, the quiz one in on the... Show. What's... Never... But, never ending. Yeah, Neverland. Neverland, never Neverland, 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 yeah, Neverland, yeah. Neverland, Neverland, Promise. This year's Abexa one. Yeah, was this year's yeah. Abexa one. I, I thought I Abexa was, 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 good was good, actually. I thought the quiz was good, but yeah. I, it was a repeated joke. Yeah. yeah. If, if it was the first time you saw Abexa, it would be hilarious. Well, they upgraded her. Yeah, it's, she's now an Echo <laughs> Show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, uh, if it, like uh, last year it was hilarious, right? When, when they, they first showed up. So yeah. it was a repeated joke, so it wasn't that good. Uh, even the uh, the God YM stuff was was a repeated joke. Yeah, and that was like Saint Seiya God. Or... Yeah, it's Athena. Yeah, Athena. So it's Mi- Mi- Mitena, which is Athena. you know it's the same as God YM. Wait, yeah. so was that the only real Saint Seiya reference? Yeah, they did the cardboard thing after two. I mean, it's part uh, because uh, Mitena also showed up yeah. in uh, in the cardboard one. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I missed a lot of stuff. Yeah. That one wasn't that good. But though. it was really only Mitena then. Uh the Saint Seiya one, yeah. Yeah. But uh oh well they sang they sang the opening song. Oh they sang it? Oh damn, I need to watch at the that. Yeah, at the beginning, yeah. They sang the opening song of Saint Seiya. And then uh And they they randomly play like the Saint Seiya like stinger. Yeah. At random parts of the show. I thought the the cardboard was funny. Like because they copied the the Hamachan show, the Kakuzuke. Ah, uh, okay. Like you know, uh, determine if this bread is expensive or not, A or B. And then you got to see me kind of just go go over and eat bread. Yeah, because she likes bread. <laughs> because she likes bread. So that that was that was good. I thought I thought the cardboard uh, the cardboard uh, quiz was was good. Uh yeah, Chaser, Chaser. I think Chaser was like hilarious, but like you know, it's so fucked up. Like you know, you, you can't help but laugh. Uh, I I didn't really enjoy the the Wadak, Wadakins. I mean, I I enjoyed the costumes, but it was it, because it was so absurd. It, it's it had like a good start, and then like the back half just became kinda, Guda like, Guda, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, what did I enjoy? Uh, Anoncho. No, that was terrible. <laughs> The documentary. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought the, the, the I thought the part with Nagisa was hilarious though, 
because she 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 was like acting as like this big star that like you know she doesn't want to do YNN anymore. Yeah, that's definitely better than last year. I think the Nagisa yeah. segment. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nagisa segment this year was better than last year. Uh, it was also super rushed. But yeah, it was still because... last year was like you know Nagisa needed to like leave because there was another TV show. Uh, what? Like the wait, wait wait I was thinking like there's one I like oh the Momone one was really good oh ah, yeah like, the Momone one yeah yeah, yeah uh, j- just because of the the concept the cosplay it, right? yeah the cosplay like basically you, you see the history of Momone right like oh my god why and I just fucked with her so much <laughs> like she had to wear like all these costumes and yeah I thought I thought I, I thought that was really good like it was hard like that's that's the great thing about like you know 24 like they can do like the stupid shit but they can do like the hard warning stuff too yeah and I appreciate I appreciate them for doing that oh the the Sanji Pero Pero Candy one that one was kind of fucked up that was the Ray one with the oh oh members, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I, 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 I never enjoy like the Ray corners like people like it but <laughs> I, I really don't because like literally like you, you know the she's like molesting them yeah well she did it for she did it on 7th gen like she had like this extendable hand and she was like literally molesting them yeah so yeah that that one didn't land for me actually but yeah I mean the thing with 24 is like we've been doing it so long that there's like you know it's I mean I feel bad for the staff in a way because like they have to come up with like new new things to do right and then you have fans like me bitching about these things <laughs> so yeah it was good good as always yeah uh, I guess there was a couple like notes about like the cast I guess like certain members were in like a bunch of corners and then certain members were not in as many corners yeah like so, Kohona like, Chihi and Uka were in a lot Sion for some reason Sion, Sion was in a lot which I think mean, that's probably helped her like that's why she I think she's gotten way better at variety she was able to like carry a lot of these uh, uh, corners I remember like, she like, just randomly started like running around like an ostrich in like the Wadigan Skywalker one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I, I, I find she has, like, like no restraint. I find Sion very impressive in, in that like she can I mean you know she's it's she's not Japanese right like she is like you don't expect her to understand like a lot of like the nuances of like you know quote unquote Japanese comedy but yeah she she did really well actually I, I I'm impressed. So good for her. Yeah, she's just fearless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's a good. That's a good uh, way to say it. Yeah, she she's she's quite entertaining in her own way. Like I mean, she, she's even like uh, sold Matt on her. So that's that's uh, yeah. Able to break Matt's racism. Yeah, she's pretty good. And I, I'm impressed with uh, the stuff that she's been able to do. Yeah. Wait, well, yeah, that was 24 hours. Um, I think there's a couple corners I might try to sub later in the future. Um, so maybe I look for that. It's gonna take a while because they're all so long. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, plus, the Gen documentary that started happening as well. So, I'll say that, like, I think that 7-Gen had, like, a nice, like, send-off at the end with the whole, like, Momone corner. Like, they, like, it was kind of like Momone passing on a torch to 7-Gen. So, I think we'll start seeing them doing, like, some weird costume stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess, like, next year is going to be the 7-Gen uh, hosting the show. You think so? I, I mean, I guess, like, uh, with it's tradition. Like, it's a pattern. The, tradition, yeah, they move, they move to the next generation every year. I, yeah, I don't know if 7th is ready yet, though. But... I think they're all right. Yeah, I guess so. I think, I think they're Sion definitely ready. Sion will be one of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. C- yeah Sion and then, like, Wakanyan or whatever. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Or IP, IP even. Yeah, yeah anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for the this edition of NMB Talk with Party. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the show on YouTube and on your podcast app of choice. Uh, write a comment. We always like to hear what people have to say about the show. 
Yeah, and that's going to do it for the show. Thanks, thanks for listening. Bye-bye, Coconut.